Good afternoon. Afternoon for you. For me, it's evening. It's almost 9 p.m. already. For Elidius, it's like what? Almost 10? 11? It's late. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good morning. Evening is afternoon. That's true. I mean, it's almost always afternoon. Uh, if you missed the stream yesterday, spoilers, we won. We did it with Great Sword almost all the way. We did Charge Blade up until Ajanoth, and then I got real scared and we switched to Great Sword, but we did it. I believe, to my knowledge, well, I'm sorry. Well, they, they clicked this one. Did I beat Kanta? It's not a competition. It was his idea in the first place. I thanked him several times. He gets full credit for coming up with it. He definitely gets full credit for um, trying to beat real Atreon on the first go. That was crazy. <laughs> uh, we made some mistakes. It'd be cool to go over them at some point. Um... When we did Fatalis, I used my Farcaster right away, and that was the right idea. But I didn't restock. So, when I was fighting Fatalis at the very end, all of those healing items I had were the only healing items I had. Would a two-player Cartless run be harder? Uh, well... If player two was using a Hunting Horn with, like, defense up large and, like, ailment negate or something like that, that would be amazing. Not only did I not have a Farcaster to restock my healing items, I did not have a Farcaster to switch off of my ghillie mantle. So, I had to, like, improvise and use my ghillie mantle in a creative way. I actually used it creatively twice. I used it once to get the second uh, roaming ballista, and I used it a second time to get some cannon shots off. I did not route for that. <laughs> that was not in my routing. That was purely uh, by the seat of my pants. So that, that was pretty cool. If anything, though, it probably did make me play better. Like, obviously, I would have rather have had the fireproof mantle. Um, but knowing that I had limited healing made it so that I was like, if you've ever seen Game Center CX, when he was playing Mighty Bomb Jack, there was like, one of his ADs was like grinding up lives for him on a second game. And as he was playing, he was like, I must treasure every life. And I had the same thought of, like, I must treasure every max potion I have. <laughs> you must conserve them. They work so hard to give them to you. So that, that was cool. Then what happened to Reno? My, my opinion is he got too good at video games. That's my current take. He, the best part of Areno is he was always, like, the perfect amount of suck. But when you watch him nowadays, in that challenge... Oh, I don't want to spoil it. I have the DVD box set. Why does Twitch suck so much lately? They laid off, like, a like a, almost a third of their workforce. All right, everyone. Uh, uh, I mean, I guess we... Could we delete this one? We'll delete. Yeah, it's a lot of people. Everybody send, send off this guy. Send him off. Mort Mortis has the number of deaths in the title, in his name. Mortis. He's going to be Mortis 1-1. One -one. That's how I want to do it. It's going to be like a scoreboard. You were really cool. You did a great job. Everyone loved you. Let me let me show off his bald head one last time. 
I think we'll do that. Yeah, I was gonna. I'm gonna do it. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna give him a little victory dance. He doesn't have hair, but he has everyone's everyone's love and admiration. <laughs> why? Why did his face has like? Such, like, a pain to it. <laughs> like, his eyes... He looks like, a uh, Like, the Herald meme. Mortis is really cool. You gonna watch the NFL playoffs? I no. I've got Amazon Prime and I've got Hulu, but I'm not gonna watch it. I don't care. I care more about video games and like anime and like hentai and stuff. I don't really care about sports. All right. You've served us well. We love you. Thank you. Congrats. Thank you. I read Dungeon Meshi. I guess the animation seems really good. If there was like a full... A full dub that had always German Marcel, I would watch it. Something last time. Let's go random? That's like so normal. She's like a normal woman. I guess that's fine. I'm just surprised. Normally, normal Rioso gives us a freak show. <laughs> it's fine. I'm just trying to see all the... I think I have, like, all of the DLC haircuts. I'm going to give her this hairstyle. Actually, there's some really good hairstyles now. I don't think I've ever seen this one. I'm going to give her that one. Uh, Weapon choice is in the title. That's a really cool haircut. That's gray hair. Get, can I get that haircut in real life? It has been a long time since I would be able to have a haircut like that. Maybe with like... What do they call those? Extensions? And Korean uh, boy band surgery? There's probably a certain amount of money in the world that could get me that hair. Um, it would take money and surgeries. I probably have enough. Like, if I if I really cared, I could probably get hair like that. It would just take a lot of money. It'd be a several turning wind job. I don't think so. I don't think it's that expensive. Hair surgery, Korea. I know they can do it cheaper in Turkey. I don't know if I'd want to go to Turkey. Three thousand six hundred dollars. I could buy it. Just resubscribe for three months. I could unbald myself if I wanted. <laughs> You can? Sure I can. Cat's looking a little crazy over there. He's got a wild design. Hola. Hay alguien ahí? 
One hell wheels worth of cha change? Uh, what would that be? $4,000 in Twitch subs? That'd be something like 1,600 worth, 1,600 Twitch subs. Even though we've got roughly two to three times the viewership of the Hell Wheel runs, the Hell Wheel runs still bring in the money. <laughs> Can we change the language? No! I like it. I like it the way it is. Congrats on the Great Sword Run. Thanks, man. It was a good run. You should watch it. You should at least watch that last stream. You can you can turn off this stream and just watch that one. Yeah, last stream was really good. You should watch the um. The, we did a run back in Extreme Behemoth that was really hype. That was awesome. All the information's in the title, Boomer. I was more nervous, I think, about Alatrion than I was Fatalis. Because, like, at least with Fatalis, you can be a coward and, like, probably win from the roaming ballistas. Alatrion, like, there's no mercy. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta clear that or you're gonna die. We got pretty lucky with the cones. I don't know that we needed them. I, I don't know if that's like copium or whatever. But I feel like... I feel like we would have been fine anyways. I think the only thing that all those cones did is it let us get the second break pretty easily. But the first break we got really quickly. We, we absolutely had a ballista with like two or three minutes extra. So there was, that run was in the bag. And like, it wasn't even a particularly aggressive run either. I mean, we, we were basically doing at most level three charges on the chest. Can't catch much good luck and you believe in me on this run? This run's a little bit less pressure. Is this another run? Yes. My run was amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, Becky. Silencio. Vale. I'm trying to remember all my settings. Ugh. Recommend a sword and shield tree to start in the game. Bone or Jagras are probably fine. But I think Switch Axe will be a more difficult weapon. Um. No, I don't think so. I think I think they're maybe about the same. Thanks, Dominic. Thank you for the five bucks. A lot of sheep, only one shepherd. 
Yeah, I mean, we've done runs with uh, axe only, so when I've got the actual blade, I can do it. Hit the is thank you. Me and Noxella do a dual cartless run? Noxella is washed. I would do one with Kanta. Did I die? No. He doesn't. We were in Japan together in a room for an entire month. And not once did he have a desire to play any actual games. He just plays gotcha games now. He doesn't play actual video games. Like, I enjoy a good gotcha now and then, but... It's just, like, not the same, man. Gotchas are great for, like, when you're eating breakfast or when you're pooping. But I would never, like, sit down and be like, oh, I'm gonna spend my night looking at JPEGs. <laughs> it's my favorite gotcha. Uh, I like Genshin Impact, and I liked uh, Nikkei. Noxilla did have a stronger punch than me. However, he weighs between 50 and 75 pounds more than me, and he has, like, I guess years of karate experience. So, those are my excuses. A twig streamer? We don't call... I'm not a twig streamer, okay? Twink streamer. I have years of fighting behind a school. That was like in middle school. And I won most of those fights. I lost one, but I had like two guys fighting me. One guy came up behind me and swept my legs. Like, that's dirty, man. One guy swept my legs and the other guy got me in a headlock. After I fell down. It was fucked up. It's dirty, dude. Be stronger? One guy was in like, one of them was a high schooler. I was a middle schooler. Why didn't I roll? I didn't have enough iframes. No, that one I lost. They didn't kill me, fortunately. You need to fight dirty, too? If I could transport my consciousness to my middle school self, I would have probably, I'd probably be in prison in that fight. That was my worst loss. That's like the only time I could remember ever losing a fight. Among my greatest middle school victories was beating a 3v1 in Smash Brothers and then fighting the three people in real life and beating the three of them as well. Imagine getting beaten by the same person in both video games and in real life. I'm fine, man. See why I didn't do that years before? One of, the, the guy that swept my legs was in high school and I didn't see it coming. I'm sorry, I didn't have like, I wasn't like secretly like training in combat. I fucked their dads after? I should look up their dads. That's a great idea. I like that. Los encargados se ocupan de revisar las pistas de la comisión. Y las que llaman nuestra atención se convierten en misiones. And by the way, <laughs> you got new newborn baby brothers brewing in a miraculous conception in your dad's colon. Congratulations. So that's it. That was those are my biggest loss. My my biggest loss was was a two v one. 
No, I wasn't. I wasn't. I was never bigger than anyone else, Dane. That hair growing on your earlobe. Oh I'm yeah. I'm just a little guy. I'm not hey, like daddy. mega micro, but I'm definitely short. What I fight so much? I don't know. I, it was less that I wanted to start fights, and it was more like I would never turn down a fight. If that makes any sense. No, I, I would never start a fight. It would just be like if somebody wanted to go, I'd be like, let's go. That's all. Start a fight with Rage Gaming? I would... I, w I would uh, charity box him. Absolutely. Just tell me when and where. Abdul, hello. Good afternoon. Yeah, check it out. I want you to be my pet. And I'm going to be... What if we ended up really liking each other in real life? We've been together in the same area. He was at... E3 2019 and he held up my recording on the Iceborne demo by like I don't know 15 minutes because he had a bunch of crappy gear that he didn't test so we, we were together in real life and I can tell you already I don't like him we had a very limited recording time as you can imagine and he held it all up Yuri was like, hey, uh, that's Rage Gaming over there. Do you want to meet him? And I'm like, nah, man, just tell him to get his shit ready. Let's get recording. I didn't come here to hang out with him. Nah, this was well before the whole... other stuff. Where am I? Where am I going? Snackies, thank you. But if he came there to hang out with me, I don't care. I already had people I was hanging out with. I was hanging out with King and Amatsu. Where did I cart? Not real fan, fake fan spotted. Hey, everyone, laugh at the fake fan, Aaron Tio Gonko. He's not a real fan. He did not watch yesterday's stream. I had to go to work? It's been 24 hours. You could have watched the VOD. Where did I cart? Not even a believer. Had to go to work? I don't see a subscriber next to your name. Working, not watching, thinking that I failed. Won't even become a channel member. Some people have real jobs. Zuga, thank you. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to claim that this is a real job, but it's not easy either. I'm a sub on Twitch. Well, you're going to get domed right now. Hedge Knight, thank you. Last is Hentai, thank you. Great name. That guy sucks. <laughs> Glass is Hentai, not only a Twitch Turbo member. But now a channel subscribe. That's how you know they actually really like you. Like, you got Twitch Turbo. Why would you subscribe to anyone? It's actually really touching. Do we still hang out with Nick? I've probably not spoken to Nick in over 10 years. Drool Bucket, thank you. Oh, my God. Can you have sub then? You don't have to sub. If money's tight, it's fine. I'm just happy you're watching the stream. Ten years? I mean, the podcast ended around ten years, didn't it? Hey, compañera. Bo Deathless? Bo Deathless would take, like, a lot of practice. I would have to go back and actually start playing Bo. You're a legend? Thanks, man. Like, 
I'll actually, I mean, I would actually, even though I know them really well, like, I would actually have to practice, um, both Fatalis and Alatrion a lot. How much would it cost for me to sponsor a Lance Run Cartless? I mean, you're asking for, like, 30 hours of my time sponsored. You don't want to know what those rates are. <laughs> You don't, you don't want to know. Ah, ahí los tenemos. Mira, esos son los que es todo. A ver cómo acabas con ellos por tu cuenta. I mean, it's not subs. I mean, you're... Mucho. What am I doing? I'm not saying it would be ten thousand dollars, but maybe we could work out some sort of a bulk discount or something like that. <laughs> Hay muchos monstruos más cerca acechando en este bosque. Las criaturas endémicas de este lugar pueden ser útiles en la casa. I mean, you know, it's like it's the game I already play, so like obviously like I wouldn't charge like the full rate, but negotiations would probably start around there. <laughs> probably somewhere in that vicinity. I don't know. I've got a I've got an agent for that. Huh. Abdul, thank you. This guy's great, man. I got, there's a, there's an email to contact him in my, in my about page. Should be sdshepherd at ggtalentgroup.com. Why well, hasn't come here anymore? He, I'm sure he's off tonight, Saturday night. All the all his work's done. He does all the work during the week. I don't think my agent I don't think anyone's ever actually emailed him. I mean not from Twitch chat. Help him? Okay. We there's been a number of, of content creators, at least one I know of that went from being a content creator to working for him. Good health care. They got good benefits. They took all the holidays off. I think they took like two weeks off. Why aren't I one? I like streaming. And I'd rather be making the content than managing the content. I don't know. Maybe when I get older, I'd rather... Uh, rather do that instead, but... Why not be the content? Well, I mean, that's, isn't that what I am? I have time for both. I'm very ill. It's like not a bit. Like I'm so sick. <laughs> I have, I reserve literally all of my energy and ability to do this. And I'm just exhausted. All, I'm still, I'm exhausted now, but I just, I don't want to stop streaming, so. Sand boots, thank you. Sand boots just resubscribed for 33 months. Usa la cámara automática para no perder de vista a tu presa. Poor great Jack. No, don't. What the hell? <laughs> what are you doing, dude? Go in there. I stream full time? 
Uh, I've been streaming full time uh, for about five years, maybe a little over five years now, I guess. Time for the Itchy Horror Special, boys! Let's go! Oh my god. I didn't think you were gonna... <laughs> Vamos e informemos al abuelo. You like the new thumbnail? Thanks, man. I like you. Have I told you that recently? I was thinking of doing a uh, great Jagras uh, switch axe, actually, Noxella. What do you think about that? That counts, right? How about we try to avoid power file as much as possible? Is that... What do you mean that's not shitty? That's not new. How many runs do you see with people using exhaust file? Poison and dragon only? I was actually thinking of making uh, poison uh, for the end part of high rank. Pirate Kayla below. Don't forget Parafile? Hell yeah, man. Do I use the earlier material DLC? No. May I ask a question about this game? Absolutely. Specs, feel better soon if you've been feeling bad. I'm very sorry to hear that. I used Dragonfile for a little bit. Because Nine Elemental Boost worked on it. Yeah, maybe, um... Yeah, I think I kind of want to make the Great Jagger Switch X. Because it just looks nice. And we can, we can make it. Nothing stopping us. No, we don't use any of those add-on DLCs. The only things that we get into is like, we will use some of the seasonal DLC, uh, like the seasonal event stuff, and uh, we'll do like event stuff. Good job, thank you. Empecemos con la expedición. Reúnete conmigo en la puerta. I didn't update it on uh on YouTube fume. I gotta update it. The command on YouTube. YouTube always comes second, I'm sorry. Mortis is like it's like the scoreboard. The life versus the death. One one to one. So where's Great Jagras? He's right here? Ooh, we could even make it right away. How nice is that? Of command for the mods I'm using, uh, I haven't updated it. We're using true damage values, cutscene skip, and blood. That's it. That looks like coral bones and maybe like a tzatzy claw. Can't really tell. Ariana for run number three. I kind of consider this run number two, as strange as that might sound. You don't need to use armor spheres to master rank? Well, that's not true. If our guy's hanging out, if his plan is to hang out in uh, high rank for a while, he should absolutely use his armor spheres. Ahora estamos en Astera. Si quieres salir de expedición, abre el mapa mundi y selecciona a dónde quieres ir. Para esta expedición, tenemos que quedarnos en el bosque primigenio. Podemos expandir las expediciones conforme nos adentremos más en el nuevo mundo. Merece la pena. There's a mod that apparently 
turns all models into like real weapon models. What do you think about that? Should I use that mod? I, I, I've never even looked at it. I might use it. So, like, take a look at this weapon, Compost King. You see how it's like an alloy switch axe that just has, like, a great Jagras nutsack stretched over it? It would, I, I think, turn it into, like, a real-looking weapon. Alright, maybe I'll install that tomorrow. I, I think I'll try it. I mean, I would assume it would look like a real great Jagra switch axe. I don't know what it would look like. What does the true damage value mod do? You see how it says my attack is 118? It removes the bloat. So normally switch axe is like, what, a 5.2 modifier? So that would be, what, 520? It would be like around 600 something. It shows 118 because that's like the actual true raw. You like the stretched monster sex? I mean, I th you know, I think there are people that actually really do like the way it looks. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If this was your first Monster Hunter game, that probably feels fine. It only applies once they reach high rank? You know what? I think that's okay, actually. As long as they eventually have a, like, final upgrade to something that looks good, I think that's fine. Prototype. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Oh, I saw a Latian Dong mod did just come out. I saw that too, Leona. I thought of you when I saw it. Man, that looks good. The chances that we'll get a port of 4U or 3U to Steam? I've gone back and forth on this. You want to know my current Doomer philosophy? They might feel like they have a better chance of selling and getting more money by pushing people towards the modern games than selling the older games. So, like, they wouldn't want to sell the old games because you might play an old game that doesn't have cosmetic DLC rather than continue to play World and Rise, which does have cosmetic DLC. But, I mean, look, I would, I would be extremely happy if they re-released for you. I mean, I'd be except, happy if they released any of the older games. Hell, if they re-released GU... <laughs> It would at least be, like, something new that we could all play together at the same time on a new save. We're getting a remake, not a remaster? That's, like, insane copium, dude. Insane. Uh, Mystical, if you play the old games emulated, it's actually, like, really easy to just rebind, like, the D-patch to the right analog. And they all control pretty well when you do that. No need to be worried, Zebra. All is well. Tengo algo especial solo para ti. 
ti. Vuelve pronto. Magnífico. I mean, you can emulate it, Joe, silly. It's not ideal. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not here, like, gassing your butt cheeks or anything. But it is, it is possible. What does that even mean? Is it hard to emulate or gas in your butt cheeks? <laughs> what do you think it means? How do you interpret that statement? How did the Great Sword Run end? You could watch it. The VOD is right there. Please think before you speak. Look, there's a reason why I'm the streamer, okay? Wish Capcom would give us Resident Evil PS1 collection or something? I think, I think the modern Resident Evil remasters are pretty good. I don't think I have any issue with any of them. Right? I don't know. Oh, hold on, I need more of those. I understand wanting to play the older games. At least they emulate really well. You could all, I mean, they're probably available on like scam PlayStation Network. Optimistic of things to happen before it wilds. Look, man, right now stocks are going up. I'm not going to get greedy and ask for anything else. We're barely two weeks into January. And I would say the hype for world is reaching its pinnacle. It's going to be a long taper off period. <laughs> There's going to be a serious refractory period. I mean, we'll probably get a demo or a beta for Wilds. Probably if it's a January release. You guys know you can do this? It speeds up the mounting process. Now you know. You're welcome, by the way. Oh, I thought I'd get the head there. Andronoth, go away! Andronoth, go away! Andronoth, go away! Don't kill the run! 
cuidado. Tienes poca salud. Mantente a distancia y tómate una moción. ¡Ahora no puedes! ¡Ahora no puedes! Lo conseguiste. Ahora el comandante podrá enviar a alguien para ver si eso nos ayuda a encontrar a Zora Magdaros. I think I need one more ancient bone. I want to make the helm. Bone helm. Show heart rate. I've been having some like uh, chest pains today. Show bone, will bone. A rare will bone spotted. Oh my god, we got six medium monster bones. Did you do that, will bone? That's a lot of medium monster bones. That is almost the amount of bones you need for the entire run. Es hora de empezar con la investigación de los dragones ancianos. No te olvides de lo que tienes que hacer. What killed me last run? I really like it when people ask that question. Eso me recuerda que te vaya bien. It's like the, the 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 real life equivalent of having that dream where you walk into class naked and everyone sees you naked and they see your micro pee pee. They're like, ha, ah. like a little micro pee pee. And you're like, what? What's everyone? La what's what's everyone laughing at? Why are they laughing? It's okay. I forgive you. I'm a known forgiving person. That's not true at all. <laughs> I've had several grovels since yesterday of people begging to get their timeouts or bans reversed. I left one up to Amatsu. I don't know if she determined whether or not they should be unbanned or not. She's only slightly more merciful than I am. Can I grovel to reban the Growlers? Uh, I have absolutely taken somebody's one week timeout to a two week timeout for giving an insufficient grovel. <laughs> That's pretty bad, man. That's bad. Dude, dying, dying to Anjanov is an honorable death. Uh, I can indirectly let you handle hey, hey, losers. the unbans. Losers in chat. Unbans are going to be done in October in our annual unban charity stream. So you can look forward to that. Start from oldest next time? Sure. It's fine. Watching me play Switch X makes you want to play it. It's a fun weapon. I want to do. I want to do actual dossiers on them. I want to make sure it's like actually like kind of like presentable. One was great. One guy got unbanned, came into the chat immediately, started like yelling at me. <laughs> it was really funny. Folder in my drive for every grovel. Somebody brought it up, and I, I think it might be a good idea. I should have a public spreadsheet of the grovelers and the cheapskates. There was that one cheapskate guy that told me to do a thing. I did a thing. He didn't even subscribe. What a bastard. No, I can hear redeems. Redeems are on. Thanks for all the memories less than three. Oh, you're welcome, Melly Chess. Thank you for watching. Stumbled across your stream for the first time. Yeah, I'll put the cheapo list out there. How about the one guy last night that was like stream one asking for advice on how to kill a Latrion? 
And then when I said, I don't know that I want to fight a Latron, he called me the coward. It's like, brother, you came to me for advice. Sherlock homeboy, thank you. You came to me. You come into my stream. You ask for my advice. You call me the coward. Bastard. Son of a bitch. Who the hell do you think you are, man? Do you, am I supposed to hide behind the crystals? A, no, and B, who the hell do you think you are? I didn't ban him. I just left his <laughs> Twitch name up on screen when I went to pee last night. And I put on the best. Uh, thank you. I put on. I thought it was a pretty good Alatrion, too. It was a good Alatrion, wasn't it? Get out of here. I make it to Fatalis yesterday. I did. You should watch the VOD. It's in high quality on YouTube. I recommend it. Just make sure I've got all my things. It's good content. It, it really, it kind of makes the game feel a little bit more like a roguelike. Which I know we've been talking about it for a long time now. Um, about like how, how you can make like an effective Monster Hunter roguelike. But like maybe the game itself is a roguelike if you just delete your save as soon as you cart. <laughs> is it me? I don't think it's you, Cave Explorer. Hunter's Road is nice. Are you on the... The only way I would put somebody on the cheapskate list is if they demand that I did something. I did the thing and, like, they didn't even subscribe or something like... You know what I mean? Like, if you're asking a question, like, who cares? But if it's like, streamer, do this very specific thing, I did the thing. Like, if I actually did a high rank bowgun run for Blazor, and I got to the end, and he, like, he was unsubscribed, that would be, that'd be a dick move. I don't, I'm normally not a, a subscriber uh, groveler, but at that point, it's like, it's just like, it's normal. It's like, you see those street performers, like, you know, those guys that like spray them, paint themselves all silver and you walk up to them and you take your picture with them. And then they're like, they point at the little can. That's the equivalent of asking your streamer to do something. Oh my God. Are we still in an online session? Am I in a online session with Hoblaster 9000? Uh, we're, I'm going to, you don't have to gift any subs, Commando Jab. We will definitely do Gunlance anyways. You just have to wait. I don't know when it's going to be, but it will be before the end of the year. Uh, I will not. I, I am not planning to do Lance. I don't think. I don't know. You can give me one. What subs five? You don't have to do 25 subs. One subs. Okay. Uh, I mean, 20 subs. I mean, that starts to get expensive. Like, that's a hundred dollars. It's a lot of money. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the online session after this view. <laughs> well, I mean, you could start Steam in offline mode, and then you're completely offline. I need to milk chat. I really don't want to. I like getting spot. Just like, and I do a sponsorship, just don't leave. Just stay here. That's all you need to do. 
<laughs> it's all I ever want. I don't need I don't need sponsorships. I mean I don't I don't need donations or subscriptions or anything. Charge six thousand dollars for a lance rub? Well, Stygian and Scott, I mean they're asking me to do something I don't want to do. I do not want to do Lance. It just wouldn't be entertaining. It would be like 50% of the viewership. I'm gonna reroute? I'm not- I'm fine. I have to do Lance eventually? I don't have to. They were- the question was, is if I wanted- If somebody wanted to sponsor me to do some content for 30 hours, what it would cost them. And I was trying to give them some, somewhat of a, a guess of what it could be. <laughs> dance pad run when? I don't know. Did um, Luality ever do a dance pad run in World? I don't know if it's ever been done. What about a Guitar Hero controller run? What's my best weapon? I'm pretty good with all the weapons. Hopefully I do bow. Bow would be really hard tone. Um, I would rather do bow than lance. Thoughts on Switch X and World? It's really fun. Have a good night, gluten free. Thanks for watching. One boulder bone. So an objectively best weapon type in world? It's a little bit matchup specific. But if you had to pick one, I guess it's probably sword and shield. It depends if you're using exploits or not. I mean, with exploits, technically it's going to <laughs> It's probably not Longsword. Hacking Fish, thank you. For four months, a slash. I mean, there's definitely matchups where like Bowgun is cracked. Heavy Bowgun or Light Bowgun are both cracked. There's definitely matchups. What is Gunlance exploits? You can stack bombs and snowmen to have the worm stake go off multiple times. It's pretty crazy. Not Glaive? Glaive is very comfy, but I wouldn't say it's the best or broken in any way. I mean, I'm just saying, like, if you were to tell me somebody got the fastest run in the world on a monster, and then you said they were using Frostcraft, Sword and Shield, I would believe you. I, the, same way, the same way that I would believe you if you said they used the Gunlance trick. But I just don't know whether or not we want to count Gunlance exploits. I feel like that's not fair. Because, like, it's not an exploit. Like, Sword and Shield is an exploit in itself. I mean, it's like Frostcraft, Dung Bomb, Sword and Shield. This is, like, crazy. Like, one hit is hitting for, like, 800 damage. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really strong. And then you just, you know, you sheath, which is like almost instant because it's sword and shield. Get your frost craft back up and then you just do it again. So if you're going for just damage skills, Cave Explorer, and your sharpness is not an issue, AT Velcana armor allows you to have basically all the same damage skills as you would have on Fatalis. Minus, of course, you know, the transcendence buffs and stuff like that. But when you're hitting that hard, like, does it matter? Try it out! It's not like there's a lot, lot else to do in this game.
We're so good. Is Frostcraft my answer thing? Uh, I mean, Frostcraft can technically be anything. I guess. I don't know how well it scales. The issue is, is like the sheathing, right? If you had quick sheath three, maybe. But like Lance doesn't really like sheathing. Favorite weapon using against Elatrion? Just for fun? I don't know, I guess maybe like dual blades is pretty fun. But at the same time, like I just have a lot of fun playing dual blades anyways. I guess it's probably my most fun weapon. I mean, if you had Savage Axe Charge Blade, it might work. <laughs> Are you turning around? Pretty much any endgame Frostcraft weapon, even like Sword and Shield, like, I don't know that Quick Sheath would be wasted. Frostcraft Heavy Bowgun is very silly. I mean, it's, I mean, it was pretty good when I used it. I mean, you know, it wasn't bad. Especially with Frostfang stuff, being able to give you like punishing draw. Tips for Charge Blade? You can never figure it out. Um, well, low rank and high rank, you can pretty much do AED and SAD a lot of the time and be safe. But once you get up to Master Rank, monsters move so much faster and have much smaller openings that you're kind of obligated to use Savage Axe a lot more. That's why they added Savage Axe to the game. Good morning, Teost. I'm still not feeling well. I was like having chest pains today, Amatsu. It was bad. I was like laying down, hurting. I put these away. I'm gonna drop these down to two. Two weeks, yeah. I, dude, I have zero faith in my medical establishment. I'm telling you, man, it's gonna be like, yeah, sounds tough, kid. <laughs> Make sure to keep getting plenty of bed rest. That's like my only expectation on the doctor's visit. Sounds, it must, it's gonna be like, sucks to suck, dude. <laughs> oh! I don't think it's pneumonia. I haven't been outside, really. I mean, it's a good and the bad thing, I guess, right? Doc is gonna say, fix my sleep. My sleep is messed up because of the bovid! <laughs> 
para la esquina. Dispáralo contra las paredes para iluminar la zona. I get tired walking to the base of my driveway. Now, before anyone says anything, it's not like I have, like, a 200-foot-long driveway. <laughs> like, maybe, like, 20 feet. I am the clown. <laughs> I need better shoes? Yeah, probably. Is is the investigator? Is this a tiene al lado? No será un barro. Well, I get tired walking to the driveway before COVID. Noxel, how many miles a day were we walking in Osaka? We had a bunch of like seven, eight mile days in Osaka this summer. I think there were some days I had like 10 miles. It was great. I mean, it's just so much fun walking in that city. The, the worst part about it was like maintaining your feet was like a regular thing in terms of like making sure you didn't have like really bad blisters. I need better shoes. Yeah, You're probably right. Time for another kill. You know, one of those places little fish cleaned out your feet? No, but I did see a lady that cleaned out my ears, and that was kind of fun. She, like, really got in there, man. She got, like, a little scope and everything. Could I hear better? Not really. My ears were actually relatively clean. I, for some reason, I thought they'd be dirtier, but no, they were they were pretty good. It was still fun, though. Still, I would still recommend it. If somebody went to Japan, I'd still be like, yo, see the lady that cleans out your ears. You're not supposed to do it too often. They, they pluck out some of the ears. That, that ears. They pluck off your ear. They, uh, they remove some of the, like, the hair. And, like, if you do that too often, like, it can build up scar tissue and stuff. But I think every once in a while it's probably fine. Ear hair? <laughs> Leona. Have you ever met a man above the age of 30 that did not have some ear hair? Just like pristinely hairless ears. The question is not whether or not there's hair on their ear. The question is whether or not it's like terrifying to look at. I'm sure he does. Do you help pluck them for him or do you just like let them hang out? You do pluck them? That's very nice of you. I'm sure he appreciates it.
I don't really have that much of a third eyebrow. I felt like I did when I was like younger for some reason, but then it stopped kind of like growing in there. Lobe? Oh yeah, my hairy daddy. Nuestro siguiente encargo es cazar un Toby Kadachi. Deberíamos encontrar alguno en el bosque primigenio. Ear hair, on the other hand, like any hair that was growing in my unibrow is now on my ears. <laughs> Definitely. Unibrow hair, yeah. You know, that's like one of the most disturbing things for me whenever I watch Top Gun. Like, I, I know it was like the 80s or whatever, but like... Like, there was somebody that was doing Tom Cruise's makeup every day for that movie, right? Like, was, did not one person have the idea to be like, maybe we should like pluck some of the, that unibrow? No? Jimmy, we won. Check the VOD. Stop body shaming. <laughs> I mean, I would never body shame Tom Cruise. I'm just saying, like, you know, we all got hair growing out of different places. I, it must be an 80s thing. Would I shame his height? Uh, we're like the same height, man. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, he's probably got lifts, so he might be taller than me. And his, if he's got like three inch lifts or something. I don't know. Hopefully, Rowan Atkinson? I don't think so. Given your mom, it's not noticeable. Then if, it, if it's not noticeable, it's not a unibro. That's my take. This is going to be a full switch axe run, Lion Tamer. I forgot to make a cat a weapon. Oops. Uh oh. Going for a sneaky mount there. Boop. Oh, got it. Can we go through it? We can. How is Greatsword now? Great Greatsword's amazing. Greatsword has always been good. This is exhaust file, yeah. I was really hoping it wouldn't sandbag that. Oh! No! Oh! Claw Stagger, thank you so much! Not today, Death. Not today. <laughs> uh, 
uh, might have to upgrade some of our armor, man. <laughs> yeah, that's got me nervous, man. I'm shook now. So, uh, Asmund first try Rajing today? His playstyle was would work great on Rajing. Things do get a little bit easier for a while in Master Rank, don't they, Fog? Thunderblight! And a couple hits is all it takes, man. Asmund has been playing Great Sword, and he has been having a very fun time with it. That was fun. Now you know it's a run. Oh, we're supposed to be in our own lobby. Damn it. All right, hold on. Let's do that. On dual blades? He's a little bit harder on dual blades. He doesn't like... Kieran's perfect for greatsword, though. Unless he was just constantly grading TCS. You got spoiled because you're watching Asmund on YouTube. You got to be watching all the Monster Hunter streams all the time. It's good mastering bow to use. You kind of want element. So it's not like just one. Like you got to have like five of them, if not six. You know, focus would actually be really good here. Not that we really need it, need it. But it would be nice. Shame we didn't get a thunder sack there. It's a good great sword. Just finish the campaign, as in you finish Iceborne. I think Slugger would work on Exhaust File. I don't know if it would do enough to switch anything, though. I never do this, but we're going to do it. I mean, honestly, uh... You could make the Frostfang Greatsword right now if you finish the campaign, and that's an amazing Greatsword. Even on things that are not particularly weak to ice, it's still, like, a good Greatsword, so... Fifteen percent affinity, native purple. 270 raw. It's not bad. It's not the best in the game, but it's pretty good. You know, if you had amazing decos, you farmed up T.O., you know, Shara, or, I don't know. Probably not acidic. Be good. Frozen Tuna is all one needs for great swords. I didn't use it on a Latreon. Maybe I should have. I'd say Ruiner's too late to be, like, really helpful. Raging Bracky always works. I mean, you got to do some stuff before Raging Bracky stuff shows up, though. If you just finish the campaign. And even then, like, you still got to kill the Raging Bracky. And Frostfang would be really good there. I know, like, element on Greatsword feels like a meme, but it's like, it is damage. What res am I playing on? 1440p, 120 FPS. Oh, I thought you were... I thought that was a claw stagger.
Power Guild Palace weapons? They were really good. I, I feel like outside of fashion, they're not that amazing anymore. There's other good alternatives. But I mean, if you wanted to use them, like I'm not gonna be like out here telling you you can't use them. It's just like, you've got Frostfang, and then you've got Raging Bracky, and like Guild Palace for the respective needs that you would need them for. Because like, you're gonna need Frostfang for Alatrion anyways, right? What bow I would use for Guiding Lands if I didn't want to switch bows? Doesn't Raging Bracky have a pretty good bow for Raw? I mean, if Raging Bracky is like 300 Raw and like a bunch of Blast, seems pretty okay to me. What weapon I suggest committing to learning for a new player? Just whatever you think is most fun. It's not like it's a competitive game. It's a game for fun, and it's fun to learn the weapons, even if they're hard weapons. But yeah, I mean, if you push me, I would say hammer. If you demanded an answer. <laughs> Is this the worst place to trap? I guess so. No puedes obtener materiales de un monstruo capturado, pero recibirás más recompensas de lo habitual al terminar la. How do I open the frost fang tree? As soon as you clear Shara, there should be an event with a tempered frost fang in the hoarfrost reach. Am I not speed running anymore? Why do you say that like I should know who you are? <laughs> like a smile. No, I'm sorry. I'm only doing deathless runs to Fatalis. Are you not entertained? Huh? Are you not enjoying the content? You only watch on YouTube? Well, you know what? From now on, you could only watch on YouTube. There you go. I'm not gonna tell you again. Stay off my list. How do I feel that quest after beating Shara? It's maybe a little bit harder. It's not that much harder. Right, let's make sure we're ready. I don't want to die to Anjanov. Probably start the farm too. We're not allowed to talk about the Shep sheets. You can talk about them if you want. I'm not going to show them to you, but we can talk about them.
I have a very long one I worked on recently in Matsuno Generations Ultimate. It brought me hope, and then I started, like, factoring in uh, Elder Frost weapons against everything else, and then I got really depressed. Freak Ock, thank you, man. Yeah, that, that was tough. That was a hard realization. Whatever, what are you going to do? That's life. Work on cat motion values instead. I don't wanna. <laughs> Cause like, I don't even like the cat. Shara has like around 40,000 life. And tips for a brand new player? Y'all plan on using defender armor? I like that. Don't use Defender Armor. Uh, I mean, you could still make an upgrade other armor, though. Bone Armor is pretty good value really early on. Health boost and attack boost are both kind of nice. The Keston on Arms actually have a lot of defense. As meme-worthy as Keston on Arms are. <laughs> We've got good defense. Take your time and enjoy. I mean, really, like... That's all I want people to be like, what do I need to do to min-max the game? And it's like, there's a lot of min-maxing to do at the end of the game. Just enjoy the beginning of it. Many of us wish we could take a pill to give ourselves selective dementia and forget everything that we learned about the game. <laughs> Oh my god, imagine you forget everything about Monster Hunter World, but you have to remember everything about GU. Can I get it? I'll take the tail. Just a little bit. We're not going to go all the way. All right, now we go. And now we're gonna go up here. Switch X good for? Good at a lot of things. It's good at hurting the monster. He's not fully enraged yet, so we can get a good amount here. Oops! Right, never mind, he's fully enraged. Are oh, you eating the Trader Joe's pasta? Which one are you eating? Oh! <laughs> Positioning screwed me up. Nakshi with the Kachui Pepe sauce? Oh, that sounds really good. I, my favorite is the garlic one. Garlic one is so good. Was really weird. That was a really weird interaction. That was really weird. 
I KO'd off the mount, and then, like, I fell off, and I was in the axe mode? That was kind of goofy. Come back here, you son of a bitch! Who said you could leave? The KO was a normal amount of length. But the the instant, instant transition into axe mode was unexpected. It's fine. I mean, it's fine. It worked out. What was Goofy? You got an ad? On YouTube? Hey, guys, we're getting paid. We're getting paid on YouTube. Yeah! Yeah! Taking those plates. I got two plates? I got six Monster Bone L's? What the hell? What is this RNG, man? Jesus. Six? <laughs> That's a lot, man. <laughs> Building me up for the loss. The funny thing is, like, I'm not even going the bone line. I'm trying to I'm trying to bring some joy to Noxella's life by using weird files. I'm trying to as he looks up meekly from his gacha game that he has spent over 1,000 hours on and $200 as he rolls and misses his latest JPEG for just a slight turn of his, his smile. I'm not playing Exo Primal with anyone, man. They haven't emailed me yet. It's halfway through the month and I've not gotten an email about Exo Primal. Maybe this next week will be my week. Nah, Noxella doesn't spend that much. He's not he's not like a hard roller. But he'll put he'll give them time. He'll spend hours collecting floor pennies, but he'll never actually like spend a lot of money, I don't think. And I think he's, I think he's more motivated. I don't want to speak for him. You're more motivated by like getting good units than like over horniness, right? Are you a horny roller or like a skill roller? If World was the biggest selling Capcom game, it's pretty much a given that Wilds will shatter that, right? Uh, Avery? Did Rise sell more? Fan world? It was the sequel after all. Ryozo very specifically said the next game does not need to be like Monster Hunter World. Which is the most insane thing I've ever heard him say. I have over 2,000 shares of Capcom stock. Rise hit at a poor time? Brother, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Like, Animal Crossing sold 30 million copies. What are you talking about? I don't agree with that at all. If anything, it could have sold more. Nope. We're gonna make a baby Switch game. Buy more while it's low. It's gone up recently. I've got some money I can move into it if I wanted. How long was Rise exclusive on the Switch? Was it like 10 months? No! Oh, I screwed up! Ah, oh, damn it. I'm so sorry, everyone. Oh, that's a mistake. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just cost you like three minutes of your life. 
You're laughing at me. I'm sorry for you guys. Why are you laughing at me? It shouldn't be kek me. It should be kek for you guys. It's not a speed run. <laughs> You're the ones that have to watch it. I'll do what I can to flinch him. Maybe I can still do something. I'll do what I can. Okay, I've done, this is new. This is live routing. This might work. We're about to find out. No, it might work. If a bunch of birds show up, it worked. Not that one. <laughs> I think it worked. It worked! Oh my god, I'm such a genius. I'm so smart. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm gonna... I assert that I'm a genius. Go away, birds! All right, the birds are doing something different. Okay, 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 okay. Get it! I've never actively tried actively hitting him with the ballista, but I'm going to try and actually hit him with the ballista now. Usually I just run away, but we're going to try it this time. That might actually speed it up. Apparently, there's been some misinformation. I'm looking at YouTube chat uh, about the DRM that Capcom was adding in recently. Apparently, the DRM people were complaining about on Twitter recently was added in like a year ago, and it was not recent. I'm not saying like Enigma DRM is a good thing. I'm just saying it's like that's not recent news. I mean, I think any game that sells 13 million copies is a pretty good game, right? And like mods and stuff are still working on the games. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying. The baseline they try to hit? Oh, I have no idea if they've got like specific plans or whatever for what they have to or want to sell as much as possible. Th they were planning to have a hundred million units sold of all of their games by the end of this year. 
That's all I know. For now? I wouldn't be surprised if Wilds is always online. Requires it to be always online and to have like anti-cheat. I would expect that at this point. I mean, I just would. I mean, based on what they said. Then again, if they release a Switch version, they would have a hard time doing that. Uh, th there's a command for that, Shinx. You uh, click it. I mean, just like, they recently had a presentation about the next version of the RE engine, and they had a long discussion about mods and how it affects their development cycle. No, I did not use Guts or Moxie. I ate for uh, Bombardier and Acrobat for my, my fight with Fatalis. Why are the birds so violent? I actually went out of my way to get the fruit for Bombardier. This might be DLC hair. I think I bought all the hair. I was going through the DLC list and I think I bought everything. I think it's a really cute character. I think she's super cute. And Ryo's obeyed her. Hope she lives. A baldy to a baddie? How do you know? The baldy could have been a baddie too, man. You don't know that. He made it all the way, dude. I'm cute. Thank you. I appreciate that. Good luck today. Thanks, Clunk. We almost died once already. <laughs> we were very close. Toby, we got very lucky on that Toby. Iceborne actually saved us with that clutch stagger. That was close, man. We actually might farm uh, Palomu a little bit. I don't know. I'm just needlessly speculating. I, I have I have the same information you guys have. Clagger just normally proc stagger, but that meant for you to claw on. They made it that way to make it easier for you to have claw opportunities, yeah? I don't think there would be a split mode, do locks. I feel like that would get too complicated. But I don't know. We won't know until we know, right? We need to bully the CEOs and listen to us all. There is a $400 wine package you could go to visit the CEO's vineyard in California and have a private wine tasting. And maybe while you're there, you could be like, oh, by the way, can you make sure there's not always online DRM in the next Mod Center game? And he'll be like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? Dauntless Warframe? 
I mean, people don't complain about those games being online, right? I'm a shareholder. I'd, I'd show up and like show up in like 2,000 shares. I don't think they would ever make another monthly subscription MMO. Even Monster Hunter Frontier was technically never, you were never required to subscribe. You just had to subscribe if you wanted to do anything real. Only 2,000? Yeah, I don't know. I might go more all in, Blazor. Become majority shareholder. The shareholders meeting, I think, is in March. I'd have to go to Japan in March. That's pretty soon. I'm not feeling that good. I don't know if I can make the... I mean, I could probably make the trip, but that'd be a good idea. Congrats for yesterday? Thank you. You can just say congrats for yesterday. It's not that late. Belated congrats for yesterday's run, Jed Path. Oh, I mean, Ed, I've always said me buying Capcom shares would be funny. It's win-win, because either I get money or it's really funny when, when they lose money. <laughs> and I'll say for the most part, I'm right. It is very funny when stocks go down. Oh, Frim, I talked about using different weapons on this challenge. It's fun. New weapons are interesting. Well, it's, I think Capcom's like 20 billion market value. I think I would need to buy $200 million worth of shares. So I need 10 million shares. <laughs> Something like that? How long would that take? Well, uh, if I was popular as, if I were in the top 100 Twitch streamers, I could probably do it. I would need to, I would need to hit that viewership, but I could do it, but I, it would, it would be a lot of work to get that, that far. It's a lot of hell wheels. It's not the sort of money that you could ever get from one person. I mean, you'd have to be like a really popular content creator, like really popular. It would be really funny. But I mean, it's something if XQC wanted, like he could definitely do it. Think game companies should listen to fans that much? I think there's a place for them to listen. I don't know that there's a place where they should feel obligated to actually do anything. I screwed up a little bit. Uh oh. I think it's important to listen to fans, but I mean, it, you know. They don't always know what they want. They think they know. Case in point, like the ice mod, right? We get ready to latch on. <laughs> Pretty good rewards. Take them. Imagine if they listened to remove clutch claw. They did. What happened to the ice mod? Just like a lot of really weird changes, man. Guys, should I have, like, for my next list, for when I clear the run, should I just start putting people on the list that come in and automatically assume I lost the last, lost the, the last run? I kind of like that idea. Just automatically give them a week when I win this run. I'm going to do that right now. 
Because I got a guy in YouTube. Now I'm starting to get annoyed. Now I'm just like annoyed by all the questions. I wasn't annoyed before, but now I'm getting annoyed. Rock Granados from YouTube is the first one on the list. There'll be more. Most streamers would have put it in the stream title or something. There's a command. <laughs> I'm not one to gloat about my own winnings, necessarily. I did tweet about it. Deathless for all 14 weapons? I don't know that we'll do bow guns, because they suck. We'll probably do some other ones. I think we're going to make some Palomo stuff. No one else has finished the run yet. Do you have a deathless speed run? Lo hemos conseguido. Busquemos la forma de avanzar. Maybe that could be like the final. <laughs> once uh once people are no longer interested in deathless runs. Uh maybe. I mean I was thinking more about adding mods to make it harder. Yeah, great sir guy deleted. But we didn't delete we had a whole ceremony for him, Fog. Like it wasn't like I just started the game and deleted him. Like we had a sending off for, for Great Sword Guy. We had him take off his helmet. Could have deleted someone else. I have that other character around. That third character slot is is a character slot I keep around. When you like to know. Um, you could do Deathless with no cat. I was thinking about commissioning a mod. Oh, Fatalis with Kantanaki when they finish their runs? Well, this character will be up there by the time they finish their runs. I was thinking about making a mod where the monsters are always enraged. I think that would make it really hard. Because you wouldn't be able to uh, wallbang them. It wouldn't be the OG character? Well, technically, the OG character is dead. <laughs> well, he's gone. So there's nothing we can do. He's dead. He's never coming back. Unfortunately. This isn't Monster Hunter Try that has like 18 save slots. Unfortunately. I don't know that Agitator being online would be worth never being able to wallbang it. It would be some sort of a trade-off. It would definitely be better. Yeah, I mean, no Claw Stagger would also be something you can combine with that, and then it would be really hard. It's just rock. We've been streaming for... uh. Well, let's see how many hours now. God damn it, OBS. I've been streaming for two hours and I've probably got, did you die as a question, like, I don't know, 50 times. And now I'm just getting kind of annoyed. <laughs> you ever hear the saying, don't be the third guy on the match? Have you ever heard that phrase before? Do you know what that means? In war, back when people actually used to smoke and stuff and be like in person and all that, 
They would sometimes share a match when lighting a cigarette. And so if you were an enemy and you were watching these guys smoking a cigarette, you would notice the first guy that lit the match. The second guy, you'd be lining up your rifle, and by the third guy, you'd be ready to shoot the gun. So you don't want to be third on the match. So you don't want to be the 50th guy to say, streamer, did you die? Because that really annoys me. There is a command for deaths! It's in the goddamn title! Where is that? Hold on, I'm getting his ass. That's the worst part about YouTube chat, is like in Twitch chat, I can time someone out for a week. YouTube is like, oh, they can have 24 hours. So I gotta see their ass tomorrow? That's not right. The only, seriously, like, unless it's a minor annoyance, I just ban people in Twitch, in YouTube chat. Because, like, there's no, the timeout isn't enough. I just have to, I just have to permaban them. And there's not even, like, there's not even, like, an appeal process in YouTube. That's how you feel about people come to your bar? Do you own it? That kind of owns. Just saw my win in Greatsword. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate that. You got time that for a mystery word? Not sure what it was. That's half the fun. Oh my god, you- Fume, do you think putting it twice in the title is gonna help? What monster was the hardest? I think actually Raging Bracky got us the close legitimately to death in that run. It's not gonna help. I'm gonna see if I can get the uh, Coral Horn right now. Maybe I gotta kill Tsutsuyaku first. Uh, Frostcraft is not required at all for Greatsword. Is Velcana's Greatsword okay? I would rate the Velcana Greatsword as okay. That's all I would rate it as though. Did I die? I'm banning you. You're getting banned on YouTube. Because I know you're on uh, Twitch anyways. You're banned. You're now banned. Go back to, go back to Twitch. Put him in a fucking bed. You might and if you annoy me on Twitch, I'm going to ban you there too. I'm not feeling good today, guys. I got, like, chest pains. I'm extra tired. So be easy on me. I, I got a big win yesterday. Just go easy on me, okay? It's not a good day for me. I don't know, Tuga. 
I'm a little worried. Switch X is one of the worst elemental modifiers on Elatrion. Any close calls tonight? Dude, we were so close to dying to Toby. Thanks for streaming anyways. You're all right. Thank you. I appreciate you. You need to calm down your chiming out, people. Honestly, didn't know you had the command that didn't require cursing. Now you're banned. This is not a democracy. Did I die in my greatsword run? Now you're banned. All right? You guys all, all of you, you can go to Twitch. I don't care about YouTube. I only stream to YouTube so that there's a VOD archive. I could have zero viewers there right now and I would be fine. The less people on YouTube, the better for me. I don't have to deal with anything. Do I have tips on playing Kinsect? Uh, I really like the Maldrome. A, he's got a funny name. And B, like, his stats are pretty good. And C, like, poison's good on pretty much everything. I feel better now that I've banned a bunch of people. Not feeling good, man. Nah, Viper Toby's gonna be fine. How am I doing? I'm not doing too good today. But yesterday was great. Yesterday was a good day. You glad I dual stream? I think the YouTube streams are great. You shouldn't ban someone. <laughs> you try streaming! You've been watching for a while, new to the Twitch? You're safe on the Twitch channel. Twitch channel, I've got a lot more patience with. Twice as many people to ban. YouTube's got like 150 people in it. TikTok moderation? I have no idea. Did my character dye his hair? Bro, that's... That's a girl. What are you talking about? Okay, that's it. There we go. Alright, we'll see you in October, man. You fuck around, you find out. <laughs> Chest pains. My knee hurts. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm just doing the best I can, man. We should send uh, the cats out, I think. Can they do that yet? Oh, she's got to, she builds it eventually. Wait, no. So. I use the vouchers on? I'm thinking about it. It's my wish for wilds. Challenging quests that give equipment that people actually want. Last night we did uh, a requested extreme if and it was so fun. And it was, it was actually the perfect situation of where the streamer carry really helped because two people died, 
me and another person lived, we said stay in the tent, finish the quest in the most stylish way possible. Like, it was really actually very entertaining. And, like, that's the sort of content you can do as a streamer, and, like, it's entertaining, because, like, it's challenging content that people need help with. The double jump was amazing. It was very good. I think his material was with me. Giga Chad. I have hurt feelings over YouTube comments. <laughs> Why is that my problem? That's not my problem. No, I got a mod that adds blood to it. The game is not always as bloody. Don't run. Stop running. Uh, the blood should scale, I think, with the hit zone. From what I, my, my theory is the blood was always in the game. It just got censored out on all of the versions. Like, I think Capcom coded it. So I'm just uncensoring it. Oh, oops. Do I have any traps? Where? Where's he going? The funny thing is it didn't even get released in China. At least not right away. It got delayed at the 11th hour. There was a uh, special armor you could have gotten and Monster Hunter Online by pre-ordering Monster Hunter World and like it all got canceled at the last minute. That is a lot of rewards. Why'd I get nine rewards for capturing? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Should have been eight. Huh. That's weird. Hmm. No. And it, I mean, I it tells you where it comes from. And it said nine from capture rewards. Capture reward sheets? Maybe it's random? Whether you get four or five? Puedes usar el baúl de objetos para gestionar tu inventario. I'm gonna actually like count them. Going forward. I always thought it was four, but maybe it's five. Maybe it can be five. It could be something weird because it's like two of the same monster. Maybe. <laughs> I, I, I need an investigation. Somebody does need to check my PC. Thank you, Safira. Have a great night. I'll see you on Monday. No stream tomorrow. No stream on Sunday. I don't know. I don't think it's quest related. How good is the orchestra? It's really good. It's not good if you want to use a status on your cat because he spends a lot of time blowing the horn. Did I get tired of speed running the Grand Blue demo? I think I got everything out of that demo that I wanted. I think I'm going to get the game. Like, if I don't get, like, if they don't give it to me, like, I'll buy it. But I don't think I'll stream it much. I don't think it's a very good stream game. Like, it's not bad or anything. It's just, like, I don't think it's challenging enough, at least what I was playing, to want to show you guys. <laughs> stream full assist mode. Yeah, maybe. We'll need one more claw. Man, this great... This switch axe sucks. Oh, I guess they all suck. <laughs> Alright, never mind. Alright, it's not that bad. You know, I'd rather use poison file. Oof. It's so bad, though. Oh my god, that's 170 raw? Jesus, defender. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. Where's Dragonfile? He's Parafile. Doesn't get it till high rank. I will use poison file. It'll it'll make uh it'll make Noxella happy. My low on tranks. Can I make any more? Can make two more. Is that enough? I mean, it's technically enough. We might have to go and gather some more, but that's fine. Make Fold CC? I'm trying to think whether I'd rather have Divine Protection from Polomo or Stun Res from CC Yaku. I think I'd rather have Divine Protection. I don't know. Well, I don't think the power, the files themselves on the 
Switch Axe don't crit. So you're by default not a crit lit if you're using Switch Axe. Mucho cuidado. That's like very careful, right? I think if I farm Palomu, I can get divine protection on the Tacit and I can make the divine protection one charm. So I can, I can have divine protection too, pretty early. I think that's pretty good. The thing is, is like our cat's gonna eventually have his horn leveled up and like we're gonna be, we're gonna be good, man. Poison's good here on everything and except for Odo. Mucho is more. Is Pico less? Have a good night, Gator. Poco? Is it Pico or Poco? Pico PP. <laughs> Poco. No. Join, hello. Pico is beak. But like, isn't there? Isn't there a thing called like a Pico 8? Is that not small? I'm not arguing with anyone, by the way, because like I don't know the language. You suck. Freak? I see. Pico is Latin for small. Okay. You went to see Iron Claw and Mean Girls today? You saw a double feature? Lucky you. What's Iron Claw about? Is that a superhero movie? It's about a family of wrestlers? That sounds great. It's only thing in theaters. A24 film? That sounds awesome. We have not been doing a good job on this Pookie, on this Paloma. I just want to be very clear right now. This is not my best run in the world against him. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad it's not a speed run. This is not, this would not be my best speed run. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I mean, I'll tell you, A number one, uh, Iron Switch X not doing us a lot of favors right now. I don't want to be mean. Not our best choice. Is ice good against a Latreon or water weapon? You want to use ice against fire and you want to use fire against ice. You can technically use water, but ice is going to be better overall. Oh, 
Uh, dragon is possible. If you get enough dragon, that will work against everything. Like, dragon dual blades is probably like a guaranteed topple no matter what. They're, we're going to see the turf war. We're going to see the rare Polomu versus Legiana turf war. Uh, water and Thunder, I think, are worse in Dragon Mode than Ice and Fire. But they at least do something when the monster is in the opposite one, right? So, Thunder and Water both do something versus Fire and Ice. But then they're worse when he's actually in the Dragon state. I might have said that backwards. So... As long as you bring enough element for most weapons, you'll be fine. So like, Dragon does micro damage in the normal phase, but it actually does the most damage when Alatrion is in the dragon phase, so. The, the only issue there is like, you gotta split your time in the dragon phase between hitting the head to break the horn. I guess technically you don't need to break the horn. Indignation, Indignation thank you. Right? <laughs> technically, technically, if you're running dragon, as long as you're getting the topple, you don't have to break the horn, I guess, unless you're going for sky swayers. Not like it's hard to break the horn anyways. Get the topple, then focus the head. Some interesting theory crafting we're doing right now. <laughs> oh yeah, you can't dawdle at all with the uh, with the Rathalos in his quest. If you're if you're planning on uh, getting the dunk, you gotta you gotta get it like right away. That's not bad. Three pelts, we could do that. I don't know if we actually need to talk to workshop guy here. Hey Tone, thank you for becoming a YouTube member. I appreciate you. Welcome to Hunter. I like how it says, Welcome to Hunter. Funky Bag, thank you as well. Wait. Uh, now, now it opens up? Is it... You're going to give me the... <laughs> Give it to me! <laughs> there it is. Was it always there? Thank you for the great content. Community is helpful too. I, we got a pretty good community. I, I, I won't argue. I won't argue about that. It's definitely a pretty good community. So good, why do I keep yelling at you? I could I could probably be nicer. Should I have like a stern tone? Could I like ring a bell? Like what how do I operantly condition my chat? What did Jen say? Well sometimes she she says be nice, and then sometimes she says you should just ban them. So it kind of depends on what mood she's in. You can't always go running to her, you know. How do I effectively solo Dire Morales? Uh... 
You gotta break his glowy spots. Storm Shield Ringer Burst can sever tails? Yeah, piercing pods are great, man. Can you do a run with every weapon? I don't know if it's gonna be like every weapon. Some weapons kind of suck. And I don't mean like they're bad to bad weapons, they're just not entertaining to watch. Like no one wants to watch the Lance one. There's like 10% of the people in chat right now that would want to watch the Lance one. Hunting Horn would be difficult. I would be worried about the damage with Hunting Horn a little bit. I don't know. In one of my runs with Hunting Horn, I ended up going for the Furious Rajang Hunting Horn, but I wonder if maybe there's a way to build uh, just for dragon damage, and maybe that would work, like the Latrian Hunting Horn could work. It is a good... It'll be a fun weapon to use, that's for sure. Ironically, Lance would probably be one of the harder runs once you get into some of the Master Rank content because Guard 5 will not save you. Frostfang Hunting Horn's not good? It's probably okay. It wouldn't be as good as a Latrion. Or Fatalis. Hunting Horn a Longsword? Hunting Horn, I mean, in my experience, it gets like, it's kind of rough in the Elder Dragons. Like, you need a really pump KO in order to actually get more than one KO a fight. Am I running Evade Window? Nope. Now, Monster Hunter World is, like, one of my favorite Monster Hunters just because, like, Evade Window is not necessary to evade things reliably. Lance, you can kill the monster with boredom. Lance can be fun in some matchups. I think Lance against Odo looks really cool. How aggressive you can play. But, yeah, Lance, Lance versus Fatalis is tough. You would actually probably want to run Quick She 3. Like, not even joking. I, I don't think... There's nobody complaining about the damage that Lance does. It's just like... Having nice move variety, I think, is very helpful. Like, Switch Axe, you see so many moves all the time. And Lance, it's like, you see a lot of poking. <laughs> you just see, like, a poke up in there. You might see an occasional claw counter. What element for dual blades would be the best all-rounder? Uh, Ice? Ice is a pretty good element if you had to pick one. Otherwise, Viper Toby would be good for poison. It's not a real one. Now, a lot of, a lot of the blast dual blades are kind of cheeks. 
Uh, I think, like, Ice and Thunder is probably better than Ice and Fire. But I'd have to double check everything in Iceborne. Uh, there is, like, Ice and Blast. You can go double crit if you want. It's the charm, right? Oh, come on! I need one pelt! Oh, that's so annoying. Fire poison? Oh, probably like the, uh... Probably like an Alatrion one, right? Oh, that is so annoying. Maybe we could wall bang it out? I think we'll try and wall bang it out. I mean, you can grab poison and ice. There's a, uh, the first monster you fight is Beatotus. His ice dual blades are great. And then, uh, the third monster you fight is Viper Kadachi, who actually, I think, does take ice damage. This is the ore switch X. And then for thunder dual blades, uh, I'm assuming Toby Kadachi is probably what you would use, but depends on how far out of the way you'd want to go, I guess. I remember Toby Kadachi being pretty good for progression, at least. Um, Yowzy, look at the uh, look at the Viper Toby Kadachi resistances. He takes some ice, doesn't he? It's not like zero. Is Teal Dual Blades that good? Some monsters. I mean, it, it, you know, if <laughs> if you brought it against Fulger, it would be nice. You get an early break on the legs. But in general, dual crit uh, isn't great. Because it's hard to scale it. Like, you put all the points into ice, but it's only working on half of your hits. Two-star ice? I thought you were looking at the numbers. As a percentage, I think it's like 15%, which is like acceptable. Dude, Kiriniko is the worst for this. Like, for some reason, when you pull up the monster list, it just shows you, like, the average resistance, and it's like, that is not helpful. <laughs> Why is Viper Toby weak to ice? He lives in the Hoarfrost Reach. He lives in the warmest area. He stays down in the caves where it might be a little bit warmer. I don't know. Fulgur Anjanoff is weak to ice. And he's definitely, like, hanging out a lot in ice areas. Kiriniko's an amazing resource until you get to world. I used to be able to, like, go to that and immediately know everything I needed to know. Whatever that redesign was is, like, the worst redesign I've ever seen in a website. There's ice everywhere? You know, Duxon, this reminds me, there was like a soda pop and was asked on stream. He was reacting to some content and he was like, well, why doesn't the person just move? Completely oblivious to the costs and difficulties it is to try and move from an apartment if you're already in one. Look, Vibrant Toby Gadachi is working class. He doesn't just have an extra first, last and security deposit sitting around. He doesn't have like $5,000 to pick up and leave. You know, it's not easy. You can't just go. And then what? You can try and stiff your landlord, but then, like, that's going to go on your credit report, and they're going to try and garnish your wages. Life's tough for people, man. When I worked at the credit union, I would say 30 to 40% of the personal loans that we got were for people that were looking for money so that they can move. Imagine having to... This is terrible. I'm sure some people have had to do it in this chat. Get a loan just so you can leave. It's terrible. And like, then you've got that bill. Then you've got like an extra two or three hundred dollars a month on top of what you'd already be paying. 
Plus the interest. So you're out of touch. And if you don't pay the bills, then all of your future bills get more expensive. It's crazy. I want to take advantage of this, but at the same time, like, I just want... Please tell me his... His... His pelt is in his, his drop list. They may not be. Still going? We still jamming? Jamming? Yeah. Having the Jagger Switch Axe? I switched to Poison Switch Axe because it was worse. It's just to make Noxella happy. That actually hits really hard. That could kill you. Don't stun me. Please! This is not how I want to die. That's twice today we've we've been in stuns. Now I'm starting to regret my hubris at being like, oh, stun resist one and stun resist two are, are pointless. Wait, what's going on with mortgages in the last calendar year? Down payment assistance? Are people getting, are new homeowners getting screwed over? It's so scary. Is there a way I wanna die? Ideally in my sleep, I guess. If I had to pick a way. I don't know. Explosion? Unknowing explosion. Like, um, <laughs> I was walking down the street and a propane truck drove by and just spontaneously exploded. That would be all right. You might live through it. Well, that would be in full. We're asking how I died, not how I lived horribly disfigured by a propane truck, propane truck explosion. What about in the arms of a muscle girl? If, like, you can guarantee that the muscle girl would be quick about it, that would be fine. Do you think Dr. Kevorkian would have been, like, better supported by the medical community if rather than, like, Allowing people to legally inject themselves, he gave them muscle girls <laughs> to, to break their necks. No. Just like, they spinning pile drive you. Oh, hold on. I can't, I can't even kill him like this. We just have to kill him normally.
Our guy is gonna have like literally one life. No, oh, I gotta walk all the way over there. <laughs> People have gotten 7% interest rate escrowed mortgages with a FHA down payment assistant at $2,600 a month. As in their total mortgage is $2,600 a month or the assistance is $2,600 a month. Actually, we do have a mount. Tu mapa muestra dónde estás y dónde te llevan los lafarillos. También es útil para seguir a los monstruos. You okay, little guy? I right, will see. We'll see how close he was. I don't think I can kill him this way. Ninety nine percent of emote killers give up before they actually succeed in the kill. All right, we got our pelt. We did use this blessing charm like the whole way through. We used this all the way to Fatalis last time. So it's definitely worth it. That would have been like three more guns, four more guns. I don't know. Depending if I hit the side hits. I used to be a switch X hater. World is the game where it like really turned around. Although, I've gone back to play the older games, and you can just choose not to up-down, and, like, it's still fine. Quirrell Cheerhorn effectiveness increased. No, Rapid Morph to World is painful? No. <laughs> No, it's fine. Tempest X is, is actually really neat in Paladin. I don't think there's anything wrong with liking Tempest X. I don't recommend learning new weapons. Like, learning the new weapons? Um. Well? I'm trying to think if I would recommend somebody to go to a YouTube video to watch it first or just to figure it out on their own by looking at the. The Hunter's Notes are not very helpful. <laughs> I'll say that much. Like, if you go to the weapon controls here and you go to Switch Axe, like, technically. Does it even tell you about the Heaven Sword combo? Like, it's just, like, missing things. It's like, that's really annoying. I don't want to recommend...
recommend for you to like watch other people play it too much either. Like, your style may be different than my style, may be different than a TA runner style. And like, that's not a bad thing. Like, you don't have to play the weapon the same way that other people play them. Toby Gadachi weapon's really the best for base world? The best? I mean, they're pretty good. But I wouldn't say they're the best. What's Heaven Sword combo? Keep pressing the B button. Heaven Ward combo. Why is it Heaven Ward and not Heaven Sword? It charges up your ramp gauge a lot. Yeah, I would... Okay. I would say if you're playing Insect Lave... Don't stay in the air too much. <laughs> That's a little bit of a trap. But I mean, at the same time, like, it's okay to go in the air sometimes. It's great for repositioning. It's great if a monster is flying. It's great if a monster is running away. Heaven Ward. I have always called it Heaven Sword. Huh. I feel like they changed it on me. There's a lot of things in base world that are weak to thunder. What would I think of Monster Hunter at arcade surviving mode like fighting games? It's had stuff like that before. You hate it when the helicopter and second wave player lands on you? Meowzy's probably done more SOS than anyone I've ever known, so. He is allowed to be annoyed. I'm full on flash bugs. Alright, let's get any. Man dildo effects. What? <laughs> Excuse me? Somebody check his search history. Someone checked his autocorrect. You use CC's longsword with free element? Well, you, your, your opportunity cost of putting in free element meant you could have put in three points of something else, though. I'm not saying it's not good, I'm just saying. We have bombs. We have gunpowder. I've got 15 fire herbs. I don't see any gunpowder in here. Iron Claw is amazing. Uh, you were the second person to recommend Iron Claw. Maybe third. How goes the day? It's all right. Adios. Adios. I like it the way she says adios. Adios. Oye, compi. And I like it when the handler calls me compi. Hmm. That is way better than pard. Pard, I do not like. Ibo is okay. <laughs> Partner would be okay. Poppy sounds awful? To a non-native Spanish speaker, I think it sounds cute. Mucho cuidado. No, I screwed up. All right, we got to get him out. Wait, 
What if there was a mod? Call me champ? She's not Riozo, so I don't care. Uh, not every monster has a arena quest, Norbert. And once you clear them once, they don't always show up again. It's like random. Are you wobbling yet? You're not wobbling yet? That's not fair. Now you wobble, right? Why are you not wobbling? <laughs> I demand that you wobble. The little bro is not giving me what I want. Can't wait for the bowgun playthrough? You are technically correct in that you can't wait for it. You just don't know how correct you are. <laughs> This one has to be Bonex. Normal weapons are too easy. That's quite a compliment, Albino. <laughs> but if I run it with Bonex, then I've got nowhere to go up to. We gotta, we gotta milk this for a whole year, man. That's assuming he's gonna win, putting you on the list. Hold on. Mere mercy. At Albino Dobbing, that's assuming he's going to win Keck W, now on the list. Why do you do one weapon at a time? This is kind of what I do. You do Slinger only through Law Rank? You absolutely could. Good Iceborne switch axe. It gets a little bit tough in Iceborne. Because you got to choose between like power file and like a good sharpness. That's not easy. Palomu is actually probably all right. As weird as it is for progression. The list is if you say I'm going to die. And I don't die. I time you out for a week. If you do say I'm gonna die, and I do die, then there is no consequence. 
Mind you, I've already had one person who got timed out for a week because of the list grovel to me and be like, can you please unban me? Or untime me out? The answer is no. It's my reward. I, I, the, it's not that I'm punishing them. It's that I'm rewarding myself by not having to read your messages and chat for a week. Don't misunderstand. It's not a punishment. It's a reward for me. What if they groveled with gift subs? No. I don't care. I don't need the money. I don't go anywhere. I don't do anything. You saw somebody talk about spreading ass and only getting a three-day timeout. It, there was a clip of that on Twitch, uh, uh, Discord. I forget who, who said that, though. But yes, someone has shown hole on Twitch and only gotten a three-day timeout. You think about it, it's really unfair. Like, you're a Twitch chatter. The only crime you've ever done is, like, say something slightly annoying in my chat room. And you get timed out for a week. That person showed their full butthole, and they got three days. Don't I want to retire early so I don't have to deal with Twitch chat? I don't think you understand. I really enjoy streaming on Twitch. It's not like I dislike this. I mean... I don't know if I'll be able to do it forever. I'll do it as long as I can. But I don't... It's not like it's not like a painful existence for me. I'm very happy that I have the opportunity to do this. You can type shed one, shed two, shed three, shed four. You're not going to time out. Hmm. I'm not getting in trouble. How do you get so much bar health bar that early? Eat and then use the bone, uh... The bone helm? How many people were in the greatsword run list? I think it was only like three? Let's see here. Last Dragon Zero One Skin Cloak and Youth Pose, but I, like, I mistyped his name. So I couldn't time him out. And he got real mad. He was like, why are you gonna time me out? I was just bantering. Please. You've been here long enough to know better. And then there was all the doubters that bet less than I said they could bet, and they should have gotten banned for a week, but they were like, they were literally being covered. It was like, it was actually in a way kind of beautiful. It was beautiful because like, there were enough doubters that bet 250,000 that like shielded their weaker little brothers. It's like, in a way, like, I'm not mad at that because it was like, it was like kind of sweet. You know what I mean? It was like kind of touching. Like you guys were looking out for each other. And I like that. I want you guys to... You guys should stick up for each other. You're right. I can't prove anything. I can't. I can't prove that they didn't bet two hundred fifty thousand. So I didn't. I didn't time out anyone. Nobody got timed out in the final fatalis bet. So that was that was very enjoyable. It was fine. I mean, nobody's telling them like they, they don't. There's no. They're under no obligation to out themselves. You know what I mean? Why Raging Bracky is the logical conclusion of Defender weapons? I mean, his weapons are really good, but like... I don't know, man. I feel like they're almost like a little overrated. 
I don't know. Maybe I'm coping, but... It depends on the monster. Blast isn't necessarily great against everything. Uh, this is... We... Te I, technically, it's like the third run, Sayo. We lost one, we won one. So it's like the third run. But I'm kind of counting it as the second run. Like, with the death, I all consider that t technically the first run. So it's it's confusing. I'm already, we're three, three characters deep, and I'm already, like, screwing around with the lore. <laughs> it's already like, huh? Am I planning the completed runs on YouTube? Brother, we're live on YouTube right now. You could go to YouTube, scroll back 30 minutes, and be, like, living in the past if you wanted. Oh, you suck. Oh, let me th let me pass. I can bang you again? Can I? Should I? There's a little bit more to switch axe in World and Iceborne than just up-downing forever like you do in Generations. I would still say it's a pretty strong weapon, though. I'm not sure if that's what you're saying or not. Uh, there's definitely stronger weapons I could be using right now, Kaiser. I just think that this weapon is funny. I think Poison Element is funny. It is actually genuinely pretty good against Legiana, though. Takes a lot of poison damage. Depends on the monster. It's really bad against Dodo, who will be fighting soon. That's annoying. Herophile versus Odo? You want me to farm up the Baroth switch X? Uh, when poisoned, Legiana will, like, vomit sometimes. It'll, like, have this weird coughing animation. Which I guess does keep it out of the air a little bit.
Well, I'll say this much. That was a one zone Legiana. That's not bad. Not saying it's good, but it wasn't bad. It's the Clutch Claw Zero Sum Tenderize. It's just for damage. No bones. <laughs> Is this run looking faster than Greatsword? I'm not doing a speed run, man. Adios. So the red buff do for Switch Axe increases the stagger damage and part break damage. A lot of people seem to think I'm speedrunning. I was doing a speedrun, and then I got woken up by Toby Gadachi, <laughs> and I'm like, let's relax a little bit, okay? Let's take a breath. Slow down a little bit. If you tenderize the latrine's head when he's fallen over, it's a missed attack. Really? On everything? It's a funny looking head. I wonder if that's effectively more life. Like minus the health boost, but plus it. Saw your last run got past Shark. Can I ask where it got lost? You can, but you're gonna feel real weird when you hear the answer. I think we're just gonna fight Odo like this. It's not that bad. Was it to Anjana? <sighs> the thing is, is I think it's bet like honestly, for like farming views, it's better for people to assume that I just lost the run than for like them to know that I the truth. It's better for people like let people remain gaslit. Just keep gaslighting them. I'm just going to assume that Odo is going to give us the upgrade. Hmm. <laughs> and then when like so they find out somebody else won it, they're like, oh, actually, he got it. He already has it. Stomach it? It's clickbait? <laughs> <laughs> Memorialize me carding to Best Point Queen. That'd be pretty sweet. No hit Elden Ring randomizer attempts and he's farming the views. Like his view count would probably go down if he won one. Probably. Should have sandbagged it, man. It's my mistake. Rookie mistake. Well, people still, I mean, we're still emotionally invested. I almost died to that Toby Kodachi. That was very close. What spread have you begun using late high rank, early master rank? I don't know, Jagras maybe? I mean, I've had hunts where like Toby has remained stunlocked the entire hunt. 
Definitely. Plomo, I wasn't that worried about dying. Not, not like Toby. Toby, I was dying. If this run dies, we would keep going with Switch X. We wouldn't, we wouldn't switch. If you're lazy, what Switch X do you use through high rank? Poison's good on everything except for Valhazak. But even then, like, the raw on the iron Switch X with the sharpness means it's still fine. You can still use it. Good gun lance and ice one for sure. Shara? Isn't like Viper Toby's gun lance really good? And to tail flip thing can kind of kill you. This should get it down. Wait, you're still fighting? His pants are actually kind of okay. They give quick sheath. Are you running? Are you not gonna run? I'm only doing this because I assumed you're running. No! <laughs> Geometry, no! It bumped into the wall. Engage at just the worst time.
What the hell? He doesn't do that move a lot. Just an eepy little guy. So sleepy. Is it really cold where I am? The entire United States is going to get hit with a cold front, I think. I haven't checked the temperature outside, but I'm sure it is cold. Me alegro de verte. <laughs> hmm. There might be some snow tomorrow, I think. I don't know. Switch axe, it's good. Damn, dude. Minus seven Fahrenheit's real, man. Damn. I just hate paying for that heat, man. That is such a pain in the ass. Oof. 130. It's kind of annoying it doesn't get more poison. It only gets 20 raw. This is sitting at 150 with power file. It's like so much better. It's not even funny how much better it is. Well, 40s here in Los Angeles. Sounds tough being in Los Angeles. Do I want to use a Monster Bone Plus or Health Boost one? Sure. Well. Sure. Downstairs neighbors pays for your heat. She has no circulation because she's a million years old and keeps the heat at 95. Dude, you're getting one of those. What do they call it? The ambient floor heaters? That's basically what you got. Is your floor actually like warm? How's for you, Switch X? I've not played a lot of Switch X in for you. That's wild, man. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Minus 40, what? That's probably Celsius, right? That's cold, man. I was thinking about how nice it would be to rent and, like, have your landlord paying for your heat. That'd be pretty sweet. Is, oh, is that actually the, the meeting point? Minus 40C and minus 40F? Wow. Your last place paid your electric bill? That seems like a dangerous thing to do. Get all those Bitcoin miners moving in. I'm sure they would figure it out real quick. Good night, Fume. I mean, it's never going to be... You're never going to get ahead that much. You know, the, the landlord presumably is still going to be making their, their profit in some way. I mean, that kind of makes sense. If they say, like, we'll cover the first hundred bucks or whatever in electricity. Did you play the demo yet, Ed? It's all right. It's not amazing, but I would say it's all right. Congrats on the victory. Thank you, Softar. El 
Sorry to see me do this with all the weapons? Me too. I like the art style. The combat is fun enough. I just don't think there's enough there to, like, stream. I just don't think it's interesting enough. Personally. Oh, maybe it gets better at the end game? I don't know. Will I ever stream Frontier? It's not a conversation I want to get into tonight. We'll probably get a demo for Dogma 2 soon. That's a good point. Yeah, maybe sometime in... February? What weapons do I have left in this challenge for? All of them except for Greatsword? We finished it with Greatsword. I know my items. Will I ever stream Monster Hunter Ascent again? I'm sure before I die, I'll stream it. I hope so. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> I will likely stream it at some point, but you don't don't hold your breath. It's okay if I don't. You don't got to give me permission not to stream again. <laughs> Especially not that one. Do I bother with Bowgun? Honestly, Cartless with Bowgun is actually kind of a challenge, right? And so in that regard, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I really don't like Bowguns. But if it's hard, that's just it. Like, it's hard, right? But like with with uh, with like heavy bowgun, like I could die at any time. Are you kidding me? I need an ancient bone. Screw you. <laughs> Who the hell do you think you are, Lance? Uh, somebody wanted to know how much it would cost to sponsor me to do a Lance run. And it was gonna be between like six and ten thousand dollars if you wanted to like actually sponsor me to do that. So if you like it that much, you can do a, you can do a GoFundMe. I think Bowgun is more boring to watch than Lance. Normally, I would agree with you. But I think in a Deathless run, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. You hate Lance that much. I love Lance. I think Lance is great. I think you're misunderstanding why I would not stream it. People just don't want to watch it. <laughs> it's the pro that's the issue. It's not a popular weapon for people to watch. Uh no, I, I'm a I'm very much a vibe-based streamer, so my vibe was switch axe after great sword. I don't think it's an easy weapon, by the way. I think there's a lot of weapons that would be easier to clear this run with than switch axe. But, you know, it's like a strategy game. Like, you want to you wanna kind of space your stuff out in a way. You know what I mean? Did I not pick up the flash bombs? Oops, must have got distracted. Hmm. 
<laughs> he was just kind of like looking over his shoulder. Your friend almost quit because of Rathalos? It can be really annoying if you don't know how to get him out of the air. Andrzej, leave! Go away! Don't fly over to him! <laughs> don't do that! He's looking- Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, man. It's like running into like a relative at the airport and you're just like, just trying to make your flight. He's like, hey, what's going on? You want to get something to eat? Let's catch up! No! Just leave me alone! I I pooped the wrong one. Oh my god. <laughs> moms encountering other moms in the department store? No! To go home and play video games. <laughs> Mom, the ice cream's gonna melt. You just have to stand there, just staring blankly. It's tough, man. Kids got it tough sometimes, man. Gonna cut the tail. Oh. <laughs> uh, I mean, we're totally gonna get that tail cut. That came off like surprisingly easy. We'll fix it in post. You'll edit out that voice line. In the in the director's cut of the remastering of these runs, we're going to remove that voice line where I say we're not going to cut the tail. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I like that idea. I've made several mistakes with my gauge already. Doesn't switch X have innate part breaker? Uh, well, every move... Every weapon can... I don't want to say this. There are many attacks on many weapons that have built-in extra part break, but then Switch Axe does have a move that boosts all of his, all of its part break. I think we could make the weakness, weakness exploit chest. I mean, it's close. I mean, that is real close. And I don't know how much it boosts it. 30%? Does anyone know how much Part Breaker adds? Or po um, Power Axe Mode adds? I have no idea. That's exactly what it does, Wagfish. And Part Damage is synonymous with Staggers. Two? <laughs> Two. Thank you. I don't think that's the right answer. Is that the answer? Does it double it? What does that mean, Two. 
<laughs> That's not helping. That's close. That worth making. The buff that would not work on sword attacks. Why don't I think it's the right answer? I mean, it might be. We got a plate. That was pretty good. Let's make it. I mean, we're not getting anything better in high rank. What's my answer? I don't. Uh, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> do I need to? Do I need to have an answer? I'm a pro Monster player. That doesn't mean I'm good or know the answer. God, I wonder if. I guess if we fight him in the arena, he's less likely to run away. Wait. What? Where's his arena quest? Well, I'm not gonna. Screw that. It's a really wild looking cat. I want you guys to know some great news. That eggplant pizza I bought yesterday. We had half a pizza left over for today. But when we ate dinner, we didn't eat all of it. There's still two slices left over. Isn't that great news? So I'm going to have more later. Eat it now. <laughs> it was a pretty big pizza. I mean, it was like a $20 pizza. No, I liked it. The food is so low. I'm not hungry now. I just ate not that long ago. Last night... After I ended the stream, I went into my dark kitchen at like, I don't know, was that 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. And I cooked a little, little container of yakisoba beef ramen and I ate it in the dark. Yeah, I won, didn't I? I did, yeah, thank you. This is with Switch Axe now. I'm gonna do it with a lot of the weapons. When, when you say it stacks with Partbreaker Decos, it, do you know if it's an additive or a multiplicative process? I kind of want to flash it. adds two to it. <laughs> Can I just say, I'm loving this vibe of extremely silly Twitch chat. <laughs> it's a very good vibe. It adds two. Okay, good. Good to know. This is normally very dangerous, but I think we have time. Oh, we've got time! Oh! We don't have time. We don't have time! That attack hits so hard! Oh! <laughs> Wait. Oh, all right, there's a torch one. For a second? Okay, for one brief moment, I thought there was like a hidden thorn pod underneath the bear off, and I was losing my mind. I'm like, has this been hidden tech? 
been here the whole time? Wait, does breaking the horns deal less damage? I, I don't even know, probably. I've never tested it. Oh, we're so good! Oh, we still have it, we're not washed. No! Oh, thank you, Protector. I, I was trying to do it into a Slinger Burst and I didn't get it out in time. My character's kind of going insane down here. I bet, I don't know what it is, but like, sometimes my character just runs in like the wrong direction. It's like they get locked into, oh! Ah! <laughs> it's not drift, cause like I've got hall effect sensors. It's like, I can tell it's like in the game. No, I don't think it's the 8-bit though, man. Because it's only on certain ma like right now, I was holding left and I was going down. You have no idea how much I was dreading whether or not that was going to be like stun above my head or not. I was like, is this it? <laughs> nah, it's going to wear off now. Be, be careful, Chubby Boomer. I'm about to put you in the doubter list. You're building up your, uh, just as I'm building up stun stacks, you're building up your lister status. I'm telling you, man, it's like the movement is all weird down there. I'm an edger for doubting. All right, now you're on it. Now you're on the list. Nope. That's where you're wrong. You're on it now. You're right there along with Mir Messi. The list is back. The way it works is if somebody says something about like X, you will not clear the run. I put them on a list. And then if I clear the run, I time them out for a week. But she gives your doubter statements some real, uh, real stakes, you know what I mean? Man, I kind of love in this divine protection. I will not clear the tax audits. Oh, I'm so bad. Divine protection procced a second time. This skill is actually overpowered. I, no, I time out Diter. Well, I time out believers when the run fails. No, why would I do that? How many points of divine protection is Asmund running? Oh, come on. Oh, that sucks so badly. <laughs> Get the thorn pods. They're on his face. No, <laughs> not then.
Sword and Shield next. You got a wild... Let, let's wait for this run to clear first. All right, brother? Oh, I'm so... Guys, can I get, like... I don't need... I only need one person. I don't need all of Twitch chat to tell me how cool I am. But can I just get, like, one... Just, like, one person in chat. Just, like, like one clap. Just one person. Okay. Thank you, Squirmy Flesh. Thank you. That's all I wanted. You're so fucking cool. Hey, thanks, man. Cool people don't ask for applause? You know what? I'll put you on the list for that. Cool. That hair going on oh, hold on a second. Lobe. Cool oh, as yeah. your forehead is big, bro. Oh, hey, hold on. I got to ban you. Hold on. First, let's audit you. That's your first message? Okay, you're just banned. And you're on the list, Hamburger. Can I ban you too? No, you're good. Maybe he meant Maldi? How do you know Maldi's not sensitive about his forehead size? You know, just because we are a public figure, doesn't mean uh we're you know we're not immune to, to toxic comments like that The only cool thing I've done was um, that Alatrion was pretty cool, I guess. No. <laughs> I got like peer pressured in doing it, and then I did it. That's pretty good. I'll take that credit. Peer pressure always pays off. How come we don't peer pressure each other for like better things? Like bet you won't drink uh, uh, four cups of water today or bet you won't get eight hours of sleep tonight. Hey, I bet you can't eat a whole salad. <laughs> Little baby gamer. What are you allergic to croutons? Your peer pressure to a master's degree? That's actually like <laughs> harmful. <laughs> How has that worked out for you? Didn't work out very good for me. I mean, it's all right, I guess. Wasn't that helpful. I think we could buy the. We could buy this. You're good at math and nothing else? Uh, I mean, you know, that's got to account for something. Which one was a tougher fight, Alatrion or Fatalis? It's like one is about offense and the other one's about defense, right? So Alatrion, like, it was stressful to make sure I was doing enough damage. Fatalis, it was stressful making sure I wasn't going to die. Is my master's in? I have a master's in economics. My final research project slash thesis was on highway spending. I wish that was a lie. I wish that was a gag. It's not. <laughs> on what? It was on... <laughs> Be careful now. If you're in a public place, I don't want you to get a boner or something. But my my research project was on discretionary federal spending. 
divided by states, and it was a multilinear analysis on a number of different factors. Sounds cool. Thanks. I mean, the, 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 the real analysis was like, what were the determining factors from non-transfer payments from the federal governments to the state level? And so I was trying to do, it was a multilinear analysis. So I was using different factors and I was trying to find out which ones had any amount of significant correlation. And then of course, you know, you had to do all sorts of uh, data correction, correct for serial correlation, correct for heteroscedasticity, stuff like that. And I had to use a program and all that. And I spent a whole semester talking with a professor about how to make it better and stuff like that. Feel sorry for whoever had to read it. Well, he got paid plenty of money to read it. No one else ever read that. That there were stats math involved. There were, yeah. There were, there were some stats. Yep. I originally thought I was going to get my master's in public policy, but I ended up switching into economics. I'm kind of glad I did. This project sounds interesting. Thank you. <laughs> what I found is a lot of the states that complain about government spending benefit way more from federal spending than other states do. So they should just shut up. Because if we did cut spending, if we actually balanced the budget, like, they would be so screwed. Like, my state, I'm not saying that for every dollar you give to the federal government, you should get a dollar back. Because that's not, oh my god, you can make that jump? <laughs> that's sick. Because that, that doesn't necessarily make sense, right? We're a, a union of 50 states. It's not like, you know, you should just get back exactly what you put out. But... I think there should probably be some correction for outliers. You know, maybe maybe you start going over 10%, the government can give like a rebate back to states for more spending on the state level. Is this a communist channel? I would not call myself a communist. <laughs> Democratic socialist? I like the way they do it in Finland. Seems like a pretty nice country out there. I've been out there. It was good. Great highways. People seem pretty happy overall. Uh, you know, not including the the months worth of night that they have to go through. I would not call myself a communist. You played Mao's propaganda song for two days straight. I'm a Ma I'm a Mao apologist, and there's people that are active in the community that hate me for that. <laughs> but all I'm gonna say is the people that really hate Mao are probably a landlord. And you know I don't have any sympathy for that. You believe there should be a wealth cap? Um. I don't know if there should be a cap, but, you know, we used to have, like, really high scaling income taxes. It, I mean, I forget what it was. Like, the highest income tax bracket, like, went up to, like, 90%. The issue is it's, like, so hard now to actually tax someone. 
they just put all their money into a trust and then they take a secured loan at 0% from the trust and then they pay no income tax. So, oops. You don't need to destroy the magma cores. It just slows the, it just slows everything down. I mean, what I'm saying is like, even if the IRS functioned, like there's enough rich people with enough money in enough countries now that don't have to end up putting their, getting taxed. I mean, if you're smart, you just relinquish your US citizenship and you get citizenship in a country that won't bother you as much. Come on. Come on. I want this. Give me your shiny. Zora did a surprising amount of damage there. Nerd Gigante just wants to slurp on his um, bio energy, man. You're back, done your workout, and you're doing cardio? I like walking, man. That's my cardio. Do you walk or do you like do sprints and stuff? Well, he switched his magma pattern. Would I slip on Zora's bioenergy? I just hate the term bioenergy, man. You know that. Standing arm slam hitbox? The one where he flies up in the air? When he has spines on his arm, Faladius, and he slams down, there's an AoE around them. So you gotta get to the other side or just get far enough away. It's very deceptive. When he doesn't have the spines on his arm, it doesn't have as much of a range. So I gotta go up this way? I get some more mining in? Hope we get a good siege fight in wilds. I'm, I mean, doubt. Can I climb up here? Why is he standing up? Have we ever had a good siege fight? I think Jen Moran was a good siege fight. Hmm. Great switch acts in terms of difficulty on the run from a scale to 1 to 10. Um, we might actually route for quick sheath three, which would make it a lot easier. On a scale from one to ten? I don't know. I guess it's a hard thing to evaluate. Some fights are easier, some fights are harder. 
Depends on how serious I want to take it. I'm getting a little goofy. I'm using a poison switch axe. Although I guess I might use it for most of high rank. No, wait, no! I did not want to do that. No! <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> That's a cart. Dude, if that were like that Tomb Raider game, I would have been impaled on all of those things. And that would have been a cart. We would have died for sure, yeah. Oh, you know what? I forgot heavy artillery. Oops. No, I did it again. <laughs> no. <laughs> Man, we're about the triple cart. Let's hope I don't fail it again. His first hit did, like, no damage to the barrier. Yeah, I may not be able to break the chest. Oh, well. Oh, well. Should have a Zora skip mod? I think people were, like, working on if there was a way to replace his quest with a real quest. There was no way to do it. I don't know. I could be wrong. When we did those randomizers, did we have to do Zora? I can't even remember. I seem to remember there being like a dead great Jagras, and it was very mysterious whenever we tried to skip Zora, but I can't remember how we fixed it. It's been a while. Does anyone remember? I mean, I would wait. This is more, this is way more entertaining to me than doing the rampages. And like, I might be a little sicko, but like, this is kind of fun. I like to think that the field team leader is just really going at it, doing one damage at a time. <laughs> you get him, guy. I forgot heavy artillery, but that was still pretty fast. I, I, heavy artillery only shaves like a minute or two off. It's not even that much time. It's kind of crazy. Zora has stolen hours of your life. You'll never get back. Hours. So that means at least two hours. That means you've played through the game four times. And you're complaining? 
You got that much time out of this? You got four playthroughs of the game, you're mad at Zora? Six? So that's at most... Th maybe three hours. You can just like walk away from the first one. Could have farmed it. That's his choice. He made that choice. In three, in six playthroughs. So, I don't know. Probably like a hundred hours each. 0.5% of the time was spent fighting Zora. And you're complaining? Please. You walk away, you have to think about your life choices. I'm just saying, it's not that bad. Everyone always complains about it. I have played through this game 400 times. You do the math on how much Zora I've done. I don't complain about it. In fact, I'm out here defending it. What's my least favorite part of the run? Gathering tracks. Now, if you want to complain about gathering tracks, <laughs> brother, and it used to be worse. It used to be way worse. I'm still, I'm replaying the game right now. <laughs> I just had this, this sudden sober realization. This is actually what we're doing. We're literally getting tracks at this exact moment. <laughs> oh man. Wow. I'm not complaining. I still like the game. It, the, the, there are some tracks, you, you can technically skip the pink Rathian tracks if you just do hunting. What happened with the Great Sword run? You have to watch the YouTube. Is there a mod to make track gathering instant? Uh, there was... So, we were doing, like, these arena randomizer runs for a while. And part of those runs, because, like, it was such a heavily modified run anyways, we made it so... Every charm... Had... Like, the scent... Whatever the thing that boosts research... Had that skill on it, and it was, like, a hundred times effective. So... You would gather one track and it would fill out the box. I don't know if it's on the mod nexus. And you notice Outback Steakhouse food is kind of mid now? I haven't been to Outback Steakhouse in a really long time. Don't they still have good rolls? What makes it mid? What happened? I mean, not that I was ever planning on going to an Outback, but like, wasn't it pretty good? What happened? Philip, hello. You went to Texas Roadhouse to get the pasta? What are you? <laughs> what are you? I think I, I think I could point out your first mistake, man. You're an Outback getting uh, pasta, dude. I don't want to be that mean to you, but I don't think that's what you're supposed to get. I think you're supposed to get, like, some meat. Used to be pretty neat, but now it's not good. I mean, I'm sorry to hear that. Like, I'm not happy to hear you had a bad meal. I'm sure it cost you at least 50 bucks. I'm assuming you went with someone. Now, if it was you sitting alone eating your Alfredo pasta 
at an Outback Steakhouse. That is actually even more sad. And I'm sorry if that happened to you. <laughs> the guy comes in every Saturday night, sits alone in the booth, eating his own little pasta. As the servers just kind of shake their head, frown a little bit. <laughs> no, he's gonna tongue me! Oh, that's a lot of damage. Hold on, don't mess around. Any chance for Teco before Tempo? I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Deco? Anjanov can give Decos. Everything from Anjanov forward will give Decos. I don't know if Pookie gives Decos. Take a shower and come back soon. Good job finishing your cardio. Well, you're supposed to share the blooming onion. I don't think that's meant to be consumed by one person. I'm not saying one person is not allowed to eat it. I just think... I almost didn't dive that and I'm glad I did. Did his ass just fill up? It did. That's that's a good point. If you're gonna get pasta, like go to Olive Garden, right? It's probably better. You probably get unlimited pasta. And to point out, I checked my corners there for gadgets to make sure that we were not in a bad angle. He might run back immediately. Will I be doing a dual blade run? Oh, absolutely. I really look forward to the dual blade run, actually. How much do the extra palicos do? I have no idea, actually. I've oft I was talking the other day about how, like, I don't know how much damage the cat is actually doing. I know they kind of go a little wild if you get the... Five points of the Palico skill, their max level. You know, they sell those mints, Chubby Boomer. Like, you can get more of them. They'll sell you a whole box of them. A little Andy's mints. We had a uh, Glaive run going. It got killed by Shara. Don't worry, we're gonna run it back at some point. That's his name, what do you want me to call him? It's Chubby Boomer. <laughs> Did you miss the cart? Sorry if you sound dumb. You should be sorry.
What did I end up carting to? I'm telling you, it's it's actually genius to leave the title the way that I did. Because it gets more people to come back in. How how far can you get with the Meow Kano, Philip? What was the hardest thing you were able to kill with the cat only? I would assume you could actually get pretty far to master rank. If you're like buffing him up. Does he actually go beast mode in high rank? Like, as an actual high rank gear, or like, with like, a master rank cat in high rank? Do the forbidden no weapon run? I mean... Peppo showed it was possible, no weapon fatalis was possible. I cannot imagine it's possible on a Latreon. <laughs> Could you could could your cat clear uh Fatalis? Do snowballs deal ice damage? Would that count? I guess snowballs might work. Dude, cat build in Neo 2 is actually like cheating. It's actually cheating in the game. Oh, Insect would definitely count from the Insect layer. If snowballs actually do the elemental trigger, and I think they do, That would be really interesting. But I think a charge blade for damage? I mean, it's good. What do you want me to say? I don't understand that question. Every weapon is good. If you're fighting a training pole, does charge blade do the most possible damage against a training pole? I bet it's up there. Savage Axe is crazy. Just trying to get some Carbolite and it's like not going very well. I guess it's I've had worse runs. Maybe the cat will help out. Plan on doing Ice Mod. I am... Mildly opinionated against the ice mod. I feel like it makes the game easier. And I don't really want an easier game. If I want to get rid of Claw Stagger and I have occasionally, I'll just install a mod that gets rid of the Claw Stagger without any of the other changes. Ooh, we got a Keen Bone. That's good. Ooh, he, they did get us a lot of Carbolite. Thank you. Ice Mod just makes some very strange changes that puts into question all of the other changes they make. They reduced Power Prolonger on Dual Blades and Switch Axe, and they increased it on, like, Insect Lave and Charge Blade? <laughs> you get really good decorations? You don't need to tenderize for weakness exploit. Stack it with a hard mod. The issue is like, if I'm running the hard mod, people tune into the stream and are like, wow, this guy fucking sucks. <laughs> that's what, that's what hard mod does. People are like, wow, look at him clear this really hard content. Like, wow, this guy is awful at this video game.
Let's see if we can make any Zora pieces. But I would recommend there was a I know there's been some work on some of the hard mods recently. I think it was Artful Hobbs was working on a uh, new hard mod. I haven't had a chance to give it a shot yet. Isn't that non-tenderized requirement a good thing? How is that a good thing? It by default makes the game easier. If you want to tenderize the monster, tenderize the monster. That's that's it. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you don't want the benefit of a tenderized head, then you, you got to tenderize it. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how it's to me. It's like it's not hard. It's just like just don't just do the thing that you're supposed to do. Damn, Diablo's axe goes crazy. I've beaten the game several times without tenderizing anything. Like, it's... You can do it. You can definitely do it. Will there be a hunting horn run? Yes. Is hard mod just tweaking numbers? I'm trying to remember. I, I had an idea of what it did. And now I can't remember. And it was only a couple months ago. <laughs> so it's like... I, the, the, the runs are on the archive. But it was something like... God help me. They had like double health. They were moving 10% as fast and they did like double damage. It was kind of disgusting. <laughs> it was really difficult. We stopped the run. That's not true. We did end up beating Fatalis, but clearing a Latrion was impossible without like Charge Blade. No, it's it's bad. I'm I'm at, today is a bad day for me in the food. Is I am not doing well today. Today is a tough day. This is such garbage. Oh, we can make the chest. The worst piece. I should have equipped it. Yeah, I'm having a good day. I'm just like, I'm just not feeling good today. We'll switch him over to the poison thing in a bit. I need to sell some Zora pieces. Was the first that I got in a no cart one? We cleared a run yesterday. Damn, that's a lot of carapace. That's a lot of money. Video on Twitch freezes? Twitch is all messed up, man. I don't know why it's all messed up, but it's, it's definitely really messed up. Got a lot of bones. Should I use these bones? I kind of want the alloy legs. Can I use this bone? And I can still use that bone? I would need more quality bones. There's definitely servers that are breaking at Twitch that are not getting fixed. Because... The people that would fix them are now no longer working there. I shouldn't laugh. I mean, it's terrible. It's, it's actually, it's terrible news. There may be people in this chat room that worked at Twitch and lost their job, and I'm very sorry to hear it. It's terrible news. I don't... All right, let me, let me be clear. I don't blame anyone for using the ice mod. If you want to use the ice mod, like, I get it. There are things about that that will make the game easier or more convenient for you. I just, when I'm streaming, like, I want it to be interesting to watch. And that doesn't jive with, like, 
installing mods that make the game easier, in my opinion. I don't know. I mean, maybe people would want to watch me play an easier game. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't, I just don't think it would make good content. Wild Hearts Deathless Human makes good content? I think that might be interesting content. That would be more interesting than an ice run. That, I just need to, you, you know what? <laughs> One is lying as a streamer ever ruin anything. Then I can make an iconic apology video. I could do one of those like 20 minute long apology videos where I go 20 minutes without ever actually saying I'm sorry. <laughs> That would, that would, fuck, that would own, man. I would love that. That'd be great. I like that idea. <laughs> I'm sorry you thought I wasn't using the ice mod. Velkana, I think what it might be, and this is just a guess, is Twitch is trying to roll out some beta where they're like, Change in people's stream settings, I think. And I think what's going on with buffering is it keeps switching people's stream quality. That's just a guess. But I, like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you didn't like it, but. So there was, there was one um, mod I was excited to try, Teost, that rebalanced hammer. And within the first 30 minutes, we discovered that not only did it have giga-juiced motion values, it was also like it had permanent sharpness. It had no sharpness degradation. Because the person that made the mod was like, well, you shouldn't have to sharpen a hammer. <laughs> It's like, why go through all that work, man? I cannot believe you guys are agreeing with that. <laughs> you would have to re you'd have to completely rebalance all of the values on on hammer to account for the fact that you've built in permanent protective polish. Gonna cry? What if I did? I think it would be very cathartic if I did cry. I can't even remember the last time I cried. I should. I should shave it, save it for the uh, apology video, though. I think that would be better. Carson, Carson thank you. I like those arms. <laughs> those are beautiful. Steal them? I might. I would just have hunting horn music going off in the background, I guess. I had to have a music track for my apology video. Dude, I should cry at that. You think that would work? They're gonna tell me, like, tough it out, kid. <laughs> I'll just start crying. I like that idea. I like that a lot. They'll blacklist me. They'll 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 be like this guy needs to be on antipsychotics. I just don't want to be tired anymore, man. I'm just so tired all the time. The only thing I groom are my palicos. My uh, uncle, uncle-in-law is coming over tomorrow, and I was like, oh, I should probably cut my fingernails. I had actual goblin talons growing up. I'm like, I should probably do that so he doesn't see me in, like, a complete goblin state. No, my father-in-law, he's not invited. 
I have three pieces of fish that I'm being be thawing. There's not enough food for anyone else. I can't run forever. I'm not running, man. I'm sitting. Do I have enough stuff now? I like this wish list. Two more at Carbolite. All right. Dude, what is with these garbage ass mites? Congrats on the greatsword win. Thank you, Carson. It was uh it was a challenge. But we did it. It's it's a little bit I think it's a little bit like the hitless stuff our Dark Souls boys have done. I feel like it's in the similar vein. It's just hard to do, like, a real hitless run in this game. I'm not saying it's impossible, but maybe not in our lifetime. I made it look easy? I had to use my brain a lot. It was fun playing in a way completely different from the way I would normally play. Johnson Bolbega, hello. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. Team Darkseid did a hitless run. Uh, they did some practice for a hitless run. They never actually did a hitless run. I mean, a hitless run means doing it in one run. Not like, I'm going to do one monster, hitless, save it, and then like do another one. They did a segmented run. But a hitless run is like from character creation until you get to whatever the end goal is. No hits. The way Zero Sum and Iceborne makes you attach to the monster feels weird to you. I mean, you don't need to do it. It's okay damage, but it's definitely not required to do Zero Sum. A no damage run. No damage would... Depends on what you call it. I mean, there's there's some real nightmare scenarios. I mean, just going down into the Rotten Vale, there's like a fluvium and stuff down there. You'll take damage by just going down there. Hitless makes a lot more sense than even no damage. No character damage. I mean, does you know does red health count? Does any chip of damage in your health bar count? Like what counts? You get a fluvian environmental immunity if you're going in the rotten veil part. It's on one armor. Isn't it on like the Jiro's armor? Maybe it's on Hornitar. Is that a Hornitar or Vespoid? Normally they don't count. Environmental damage as a hit. Ooh, hello. Oh, sometimes there's a claw there. The Hornetars. So you can kill the Hornetars before you get down there. And you get the effluvium resistance. That would count. That would prevent damage. But normally you would just do hitless. And probably just not count the effluvium damage. The realistic thing that would not involve a million resets would be a no heal run. <laughs> That's possible. That's definitely possible. Well. Man, Fatalis would be tough. With his area wide flamethrower. That would be tough, man. And that'd be all the way at the end of the run. No heal Latrion? Oh my god.
You'd have to make like an asterisk. Well, I'm assuming you wouldn't count, you wouldn't allow health augment, right? Like if you would allow a la um, black veil armor, maybe mixed with, Jesus, Nergigante armor? There's probably a way to do it. Because you can get enough topples on a Latrion that his, his stuff does, like, basically nothing. Oh, yeah, maybe. You know, you know what? I think one Vitality Mantle might be enough. Can you Insect Glaive jump the Fire Fatalis? No. No, you got to get out of the way. But, uh, you know, that, that that's a good point. Vitality Mantle might be enough. Great Jagras only run? That wouldn't be bad. Great Jagras is like goaded. I don't think health augment would be allowed, but I, I mean, stuff on armor might be allowed. If you can test Vitality Mantle, that would be interesting. I mean, I, th I think the thing would be like a no potion run. No healing. But it's like, how do you work? No consumables? I've beaten up the Shara without sharpening. Great Chagra's Great Sword is really good in Master Rank. Like, really good. Like, to the point where you don't need to make anything else until after Shara, and even then, like, you could vibe for a while. Maybe a no consumable run. Not allowed to use the X button or the radial menu. I think that might be possible. It would it would really change the way that you built your armor. Tornado Olo. Just remove the X button. Well, I guess mantles would count. Right, mantles would count. So, I don't know. We, we got to workshop this some more. No rolling? I don't know that that's as big of a deal. I mean, if you're good with your positioning, it doesn't matter. We've gotten absolutely screwed on Carbolite. <laughs> like, like, I have never seen ever something this bad. No farming run? Only assign monsters? Oh, you can definitely do that. Definitely. Cartless? That gets a bit harder. Uh, but yeah, you can do that without farming. If you don't mind feeding yourself to Fatalis, I mean, you have a very good chance of being able to make the Stygian Zenogre weapon after you kill him in his quest, and then you just use that and kill Fatalis, no problem. Is whetstone even consumable? I think I think in the uh, spirit of the run, you wouldn't be allowed to use the whetstone. Hemos progresado mucho con el monstruo misterioso. ¿Quieres informar ya? I mean, I did red sharpness only, and let me tell you, <laughs> just having sharpness, that goes a long way. <laughs> that goes a really long way. And there's there are weapons out there that have got, like, a ton of sharpness on them, that like, you would never have to sharp them anyways, even with razor sharp. I used longsword, yeah. Th there are other weapons that would have been better, but longsword I thought was a good middle ground for, like... You have some mind's eye, but not a lot of mind's eye. Hammer would be no issue. Uh, we're missing the armor charm. 
when you know consumable run i think that would be allowed yeah i, I would say that would be i mean i would allow it Do Charge Blade files care about sharpness at all? I think they do. I think Charge Blade actually gets really bad if um, you're in yellow or lower sharpness. Wait, wait. Yeah, I think Charge Blade and Switch X both get really bad in yellow and lower. Gay only run? Those are all of my runs. By default. Did you pull Omel yet? Got to look at him. Hmm. No new event. Well, I mean, let's let's get through these runs first. All right, everybody's out here like blowing their load over the next challenge. They, these are still very hard on their own. We'll do Anjanoth and then we'll we'll try and find that Palomu. Not gonna upgrade my armor at all? I don't know, man. Is it worth it? I guess I should probably put my attack decoration in. Uh, Slinger only would actually... It would, it would get really hard at Valhazak. Can I beat it with a Guitar Hero controller? I was thinking about that. Did it just give me an armor, hard armor sphere? That's crazy. No cart light bow gun. I think heavy bow gun might be harder. Hey, T Velcon, I hope you know it doesn't really count, but I did technically clear an AT Velcana last night, cartless. It wasn't on that character because I didn't want to grind him up to MR100, but I did clear one. It was like, oh, kind of like an SOS. It was a viewer request. They needed help with it. Deathless to AT Velcana. If it was easier to grind your... Uh, master rank up, I would consider it, but it's it's such a slog, man. I've had a number of runs die on heavy bowgun at uh, Valhazak because you just get out of position and then he he blasts you. Oh, hold on, there's a cat over there. Let's grab him. How do you get me to help you with low rank great Jagras? I have a YouTube playlist on all the monsters in low and high rank. It's called... What the hell is it? Warming up the Iceborne? What the hell is it called again? And there actually is a video on Great Jagras, so you can watch that video, and it will help you. I'm I'm, a, I'm having a tough. It's, it is a tough day for me, guys. I am not doing great. I didn't put in my attack deco. Yeah, there it is. And we're at three attack boost. That's the worst number to be on. It's a it's a, it's a tough day, guys.
He still has not technically seen us yet, which is really funny. He doesn't know we're here. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. He just walked away. Ah, oh, he sees us now. And he's already enraged. Well, that's because I spun him a bunch of times. That makes sense. Little greedy last hit there, but it worked out. I've looked at the motion value on kick only, and I'm sorry to say it doesn't seem very viable. Damn it. We're on poison file right now. It's like 5% motion value. It does come out very fast. Which is one advantage. I don't think Kickboxer is in the game another issue. I did kick a Nergigante to death once. God damn. You know, sometimes I really do hate the Claw Stagger. This time is one of them. Oh, a full run of kick only. on YouTube somewhere. I don't think I ever like made a clickbait video over it or anything like that. How do you kick in fifth gen? It's just a it's a move that Greatsword has. I'm trying to play this a little bit safer than I would normally. Normally I'd be greeting a lot more hits, but Okay, cool. Got a plate. Nice. I think the input on Greatsword is like hold guard and press your vertical attack button. I 
never broke the face. Most difficult monster, Fatalis? Uh, DeSolo? Probably Safi, right? The hardest part about Fatalis is, like, not getting hit. And the issue is, is most players get really, really greedy. And then they get hit. But dealing enough damage to him is easy. You have cannons, you've got ballistas, you've got the roaming ballista, you've got the dragonator. It's a lot of damage. Alatrion, you actually have to deal the damage. Now, I don't think Alatrion's a hard monster, but... I mean, you can deal a third of his life alone using the roaming ballista. You can do almost... The opening salvo, you can do almost 10% of his life with the cannons. You can do another 10% of his life with the Dragonator. It's a lot. You just use the tools they give you. If you don't use it, if you, if you do a toolless Fatalis, that's fucking, that's struggle bust, man. You do all that damage on your own. Now, now you gotta be, you gotta get in there, man. You gotta, you gotta get moving, dude. But assuming you're using the, you know, the ballistas and the, the cannons and the dragonators, it's not that bad. It's the best skills for switch axe. I mean, all the normal damage skills, uh, focus can be kind of nice. Quick sheath can be kind of nice. You may not normally run those skills, but they can be kind of nice on Switch X. <laughs> yeah, heavy artillery. I, I mean, is it required? No. It's definitely not required, but man, it helps. <laughs> this is for sure. It helps a lot. My favorite armor set based on looks. Buff body gamma. How would I describe the identity of Switch X? Mm. A lot of people seem to think that it's not mobile. But that's because like they never never did this. What great sword are I use against Alatrion? I used Frostfang. If I had more time and wherewithal, I probably would have done Alatrion. But Frostfang was good enough for what I needed. Which is like exactly my point about Alatrion in the first place, or Fatalis in the first place, is like your damage does not have to be min-maxed as long as you're using all the artillery and stuff. And it was the Frostfang I had... Three defense augments and one elemental augment on it. So, like, it wasn't even that cracked. Like, I would say it was the opposite of cracked. It was... <laughs> it was... It was not tuned. I, I didn't have max affinity. I had max crit boost. It's something like 75% affinity. A great Chagras is, is great for great sword. Absolutely. That's fine. If you don't want to go out, if you don't mind going out of your way to make it. This is my first try. This is my third try. I cleared the first in, the I cleared the second run. I failed the first run. Elemental fly for Alatria in this run? Oh, we're gonna probably use Frostfang, yeah. It's my favorite switch axe in the game. Oh, I don't know. The successful run was 30 hours. Um, so I'm, I, I had a, a realization the other day, Agro Chic. So when I was doing my previous run, 
I really, really thought I needed spirit and strength boost. I don't think it would be fair to compare them because, like, as time goes on, like, I'm gonna optimize certain things. And this run right now, this section I'm doing right now, like, I'm sandbagging really hard right now. <laughs> you take any times compared to between weapons with a ma massive grain of salt. Oh, we can't really see it right now. So, what I was gonna say is, like, spirit and strength boost is, like, really, really good. And in a perfect world, you would always run spirit and strength boost. But I think there's a place for the other boosts as well. As long as you're getting, like, a red uh, pod into your bug, I think it's fine. Not only did I have five minutes left, Ben, I had a whole nother roaming ballista, which is, like, 8,000 damage. Don't forget my attack tech code. Dude, I'm, so, like, I am so shot right now. <laughs> it's, like, so bad. Okay, I will remember my deco. Thank you for reminding me. And that wasn't even counting like the other ballista shots, which, you know, you can get like 800 damage off if you hit the chest. Like, that's not bad. Good night, Amatsu. It also, like, it helps a lot with breaking the head. Like, the head does take a lot less damage than the chest for Fatalis, but there's nothing like getting, like, an extra six or 7,000 damage on the head. I think uh, solo? Someone help me out. What is the damage it takes to break Fatalis' head? 12,000? It's like 12,000 damage per horn. Something like that. 45? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's really breaking out the big guns tonight, aren't you? <laughs> Had the hiccup against the answer of the bot. Oh, you know, that binder, though, was actually okay. Because, like, he was right there. I was going to hit him with more shots, but binding him right now, actually, it, it really worked out. Like, actually, it wasn't that ba bad. Am I going to use all the weapons? We'll see. I kind of wanted to upgrade my charm. We'll probably upgrade it before Nergigante. Lance win? We have a... An uh, ongoing crowdfunding goal for the Lance run. What do we say it was going to be? $10,000? Maybe $6,000? Dominic, thank you. Uh, Bromelain and Vitamin B Ponflex? I'm sure an anti-inflammatory would do a lot. Please hit. Ah! Oh, wow. We got so lucky there. Holy crap. I'll look into it. I totally will. What? She's enraged? The claw didn't work? Robbed? But she's not in a rage. Why didn't the claw work? My claw! <laughs> if I can tenderize the leg, I can't. Tenderize the face. Stinky Legiana, go away. Go away.
The monsters always fall over on the same side. I think it depends on what leg you hit, right? They fall over onto the opposite side. Now, if it's a head topple, it might be consistent, but I think the legs always push them over. 4,500 damage? That feels wrong to me. But I'm also not going to claim to be an expert. So it's 9,000 then. You cannot flinch with poop pods, unfortunately. Uh, we'll take we'll take a we'll take a zero sum here. What? Oh my god, so rude. Mortis. <laughs> Memento Mori. I'm um, satisfied with that. We do have stun resistance on from Mortis, don't we? I'll take the recovery rate boost. You never know. One that will matter. Can you be a doubter? And are we still cool asking for a friend? You can be a doubter, you'll just get put on the list. Yeah, I mean, I'm cool. I mean, no hard feelings about it. You just go on the list. Uh, I'm not actively farming mite seeds. I mean, you get a lot of them by just doing your normal thing. You know what I mean? I think I hear CC in the background, I do. Oh, no, Mortis, oh, you God. <laughs> Yo, that's some crazy range on it. Pretty smooth, I think. How's it going? It's going okay. How are you going? Una subespecie de monstruo justo aquí en el nuevo mundo. You realize you control baby Alatria on SOS quests by going raw damage and try to deal too much damage. Uh, news brief to you, Adam. If you were doing a baby Alatria on SOS and it's still up, then the people posting are probably also using raw weapons. <laughs> Do I think Switch X will be easier or more difficult? I don't know. I think I'm pretty good with both Greatsword and Switch X. Is this full Switch X because Greatsword was too easy? I think Greatsword was a challenge. Getting the elemental topple in a Latrion requires knowledge, if not practice, right? It's not dual blades that just get to go in and let it rip. 
No pensé encontrarla en los altiplanos coralinos. Se necesita una combinación de milagros. The Fortitude Gem is definitely, uh, <laughs> I don't know that's going to see a lot of use. Is there a, like a, a Palomu event I could do? Is this the one that kills you? I think it is. <laughs> the ultimate challenge. No, nah, dual blades are fine. As long as you manage your stamina, you're fine. I don't think I'm high enough rank to fight the Palamu. Is Kanta still doing dual blades? Did he start his second run yet? I know he was taking a couple days off. He's probably already back to it. Yeah, we're gonna upgrade this this charm. There's no like zero reason not to. Hunting Horn? Hunting Horn is great in low rank and for some of high rank. It, unless you farm, the elders can be a slog with it. However, Longsword is like completely cracked on the elders. So, you know, if he's, if he's mixing it up based on like what sort of things stun is really good against, he should be fine. I just always remember when I was fighting, like doing a speed run and getting up to Kushala, just feeling like Hunting Horn just felt so limp. I don't know. I guess maybe Echo Note changes things now. Echo Note makes Hunting Horn a lot stronger. A little bit boring, but definitely stronger. Where, where do you live? <laughs> where can I find you? Canada? Canada used to be so cool and I feel like lately it's trying to become like as bad as the United States. Why is that? Who's responsible for that? It's our prime minister? I mean, it's got to be someone's fault. I guess you can blame him. You blame Tony Blair? The American immigrants did it. I'll take responsibility. Although I did not move to Canada. Canada has been worse than the US for a while. I mean, there's, I mean, right now, I'm like number one complainer about the United States. But right now, the United States, like, if you're, if you're good, you're probably doing really good. Because like the money is worth a lot. Some people are getting paid more. Not most people I know, but Some people should be getting paid more. Uh, no, it was after the 2008 recession, it got real bad out here, man. I struggled for a long time to find anything resembling decent work, and I don't know that I ever found it. 
Twitch streaming has absolutely been the best thing that I've ever done professionally. Am I still sick? Uh, I've, I'm having some of that. The COVID bonus round? It, we've, been, we've been in bonus rounds for a while. Apparently, this one strain has gotten a lot of people real bad, though. Like, I am not the only one. There's a lot of people still struggling with it, so. Not saying misery loves company, but at least I know it's not just me. Have I considered going to urgent care? Oh, I? I have a doctor's appointment. It's like February 1st is when they can see me. That's how bad it is in this country. <laughs> I have to wait like a month to see a doctor. So about two weeks? Do I get it from? My father-in-law, he's doing fine. It was like, uh, Thanksgiving's on a Thursday. It was like a Monday or a Tuesday. He was hanging out with a relative who the day after told him, oh, by the way, I guess I have COVID. Within the context of everything here, you have to remember, these are all Italians. No disrespect. Uh, maybe a little disrespect. So these are all Italians. And it was like, well, you can't cancel Thanksgiving. He'll be safe, he'll stay away, he'll mask, but he didn't do enough. I mean, I, it's not, it's not that I'm not willing to go to an urgent care. It's like, I need, I want to see like a specialist about the coronavirus. That's, that's the doctor I'm seeing. The doctor specializes in long-term coronavirus. I mean, what what is an urgent care gonna say? Get plenty of fluids, get plenty of rest. That's it. That's all you're gonna say. I'm not gonna say anything else. What symptoms? It's a bizarre combination of Fatigue and insomnia. And it's like, I'm always tired. So when it's time to go to bed, I don't feel tired and then I don't fall asleep. But then not sleeping makes me more tired. <laughs> and you would think I would just fall asleep. Microclotting effect is what's perpetuating long-term symptoms. I don't know. Maybe they maybe they will have a treatment of care that will work on me. I believe in science and medicine. Obviously, I do. I believe in the scientific method. I believe in the germ theory of disease. I just think the vast majority of doctors in the United States became a doctor because they wanted to get the money, not because they wanted to learn about medicine. And they just go around with a power boner all the time, giving poor advice. My primary care doctor, which I dropped, and actually I need to replace one? I once told her that I'd been walking one to two miles a day, and she was like, well, why not two miles every day? I, I said, I, I walk at least a mile a day, and she said, why not two miles? So like I'm not I'm not using her as a doctor anymore. It's not like I only walk a mile a day. It's like I go out in the sun and exercise for 30 minutes and walk. And I looked at her and said, how many of your patients come in here and tell you they actually go outside and walk a mile a day? You'd be so lucky 
You find an average American. <laughs> she said that in America? Oh, yeah. Well, she's out to lunch, man. It's always the pelts with this guy. This guy always holding out on his pelts. What's he doing, man? Any trouble breathing when I try to sleep? Not really. I mean, other than, you know, what you would expect from normal coronavirus <laughs> and having a cough and all. Can I breathe? I can breathe. I can breathe okay. I mean, look, my chest hurts a lot and I can taste my food. Since Thanksgiving? No, no chest x-ray or CT done. I haven't been able to see a doctor. February 1st is the first time they'll see me. <laughs> I'm sure it's all fucked up. They're going to look at my lung. Here's, I can tell you what's going to happen. They're going to look at my lung and be like, oh yeah, those are messed up. Well, sucks to be you. <laughs> it's all, it's all the only thing I expect. Wow, yeah, you got some pretty bad lugs there, champ. That's that's crazy. <laughs> like I said, I'm happy that I'm well enough to stream video games. And I still do pretty good at them. So, I'm happy I can do that. I know there's a lot of people out there that do different jobs from me that are probably a lot more physical and they can't even work anymore. So, I'm grateful for what I have. Like, I'm not depressed about anything. I'm happy to be alive. That's a little guy. He's really little. Now, Adam, are you trying to fail these SOSs? Bring the Beatotus Charge Blade or something, or Coal of Ice. I can't tell if you want them to be failed or not. Oh, you're already... You take Max Raw Greatsword? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you do that to them and yourself? They're already going to be failing, man. I love Beatotus. Beatotus is a great monster. I know I never I never understood the people that would just come in a lobby and just like deliberately troll people. If they trolled you first and it's a counter troll, I get it. But if they're out there posting an SOS, like try to help. Real Chad behavior is going out there trying to clear the elemental topple solo while three other people have bracky weapons. <laughs> but whatever. It's your Saturday night, I guess. from a game. Somebody might have just made that frog.
Is he from seven? That's a real frog? I mean, that's a fro real frog. Okay, I know it's a cartoon bug. That's a frog from Final Fantasy seven? Wait, when you get toad status in Final Fantasy VII, you start just like frog jamming? Is this real? <laughs> like, do they all look the same or like do they like are they like different colors depending on the character they got frog? Doctor's gonna be arrogant. I'm just like, I've just like never had a good experience with a doctor in the United States. And like I said, I believe in the scientific method. I believe in the germ theory of disease. I believe in all those things. I just also believe that our doctors suck here really bad. Dude, don't make me Dragonate you, dude. What buffs am I getting from the Palico? Uh, there's a lot of them. Right now, he's giving me 15% more defense. Recovery up. Is that Tremor Resist and then Divine Protection? Is that Para Resistance? Yeah, I mean, he doesn't, he does his best. <laughs> Usually he gives at least one buff that you'd want to have. So the divine protection one's pretty good. I think it stacks in terms of like the, the chance for it to happen along with everything else. I got zero pelts. I'd find the crystal for pelts. I like that a lot. I mean, okay. I want to keep using weird switch axe. But just, just to point something out, the Palomu switch axe is actually pretty good. If we were trying to like min max. Not saying we are, but if we were. Hundred and fifty raw, lots of green, power file. I don't know if that actually beats this though. Huh. I thought there was another upgrade before that. Well it's got twenty percent affinity. Well, again, it's power file, so. In um sword mode it would definitely be stronger. Good evening, some noob. Uh, I guess we just got to kill another Palomu. There's nothing else for it. I mean, it just is what it is. Brian, hello? Actually, oh, okay, hold on. Never mind. I was going to say, we're getting low on Tranks, but we got some. From my gather, you're doing fresh fell with without dying. How's it been so far? Well, we did one run with Insect Glaive 
Well, it was like Switch Axe and Insect Glaive. That died at Shara. Then we did another one that was basically all Greatsword that cleared it yesterday. And today, this is a new file with Switch Axe only that is in high rank. And there's a very stingy Polomu holding out on us. We got all the way through, man. Yeah, there's a YouTube. I mean, you know, you watch the, the latest YouTube live VOD. Want to see it? Congrats. Thank you. It was difficult. You know what it is? Is like... Prop... Oh, Amos Rose, thank you. Thank you very much. Like, like most players, like, you know, I have a pretty aggressive play style. The challenge requires you to, like, hold back just a little bit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I just play, it's, I play a lot differently than I normally do. And it's very interesting to experience the game like that. It also allows me to be a dirty rat when it comes to, like, using, like, underhanded tactics. So... I'll wall bang more. I'll use more pods. Did I die yesterday? Am I doing it at the new level? I just answered. I just answered your question as you were typing that comment. <laughs> did you speed run that? Did you click on the stream and speed run typing that in? How is that even possible? I just answered. It. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you just have to figure it out. I don't think I can I actually get over there in time. Oh my god. So this is what I mean by being dirty. You just be so dirty. Pelt's more likely from the carve. You actually get the same rewards for carves and captures in this game. Technically, you get more rewards from a, from a capture. So dirty! But I would normally not want to play like that. Because I don't think it's very interesting. But when every cart matters, as in <laughs> you only get one, it's quite a bit different. It's, this is the one weird game, Coop Master. Every other game works by the same rules. World is the only game I know of where it's like capture rewards, I think are the same as your carve rewards. Am I using defender? No, I did not use any defender or guardian gear or any of the, there's like a couple things that you can download, right? That give you extra materials. I did not use any of those. Cat girls or fox girls? If I had to pick one? Probably fox. But I don't want this to exclude me from... I mean, I don't know. Cat girls would probably be so, like, pissed off if I said that. I'd never have a chance at them ever again. Am I sure? 
I mean, actual foxes in real life are horrible little monsters that sound terrible and pee all over the place. Like, I don't, I don't think, I don't think that fox, fox girls would be any more, uh, easy to hang around than cat girls. The neck when it only breaks is inflated? You're right, I should have I should have gone for that, shouldn't I? I'm just assuming I'm gonna get it from the rewards anyways. Cause like the amount of time to break the neck is just like annoying. What kind of control am I using? I've been using the 8-bit though ultimate Bluetooth. I don't think I like it. It's alright. It's definitely durable. It's just like a little stiff. The triggers are feel still stiff. The blood is a mod, right? They were really stiff when I first got it. It's still pretty stiff. The Thrustmaster, Brian, the Thrustmaster's been dead for like two years. <laughs> Where have you been? <laughs> It's been two years. It's not been a short period of time. It's been a while. Does the 8 bit though turbo have turbo? Uh, I think it does. I think it does have turbo. It's got a button in the middle that I think might do turbo. I've got the instructions right here. I'm not going to look at them there. Under some, you look it up. Why, you want to use it? How did it die? The face buttons died. One of the, um, is this a sponsored stream? I have some desire to time you out for a week, but I'm actually not going to do it. But I want you to know that I want to time you out for a week. And like, I'm holding back that urge. Gus German here wants to dock the country. Oblige him. Senzon, Senzon 47. Damn, that is so much strong. That is so much stronger. Is that 180 raw? That's insane how strong that gets. Anna's got two level two slots? Dude, that goes hard, man. It's okay, we don't need it. That goes pretty pretty hard. It's probably the most annoying question I get. Is this a sponsored stream? So just know in your like my internal viewer rankings, if you ask, is this a sponsored stream? And like it says sponsored in the title or it doesn't say sponsored in the title, you've gone down by at least, like at least 10%. No has conseguido y a tiempo. Eso me gusta. Eh, eso no es. Ahí es donde llevamos a Zora Magdaros hasta el mar. What's your rank? Exacto. Vamos, sígueme. You're all right. Espera, no me he presentado, ¿verdad? Soy el almirante. El mandamás de la comisión. Naturalmente, las tareas rutinarias se las dejo al comandante. This is Monster Hunter language. Constreñido, ya sabes. This is Spanish. <laughs> this is a real language. <laughs> this is a real language that is one of the most spoken languages on the planet. Cuando Zora Magnaros desapareció en el mar, Nergigante se esfumó también. Entonces decidí seguirlo y el bicho me trajo hasta aquí. 
Una grieta en la tierra que seguramente fue abierta por Zora. ¿Has encontrado a Nergigante? Eso espero, y no muy lejos. Sí. That's the, th the only reason I would recommend the 8-bit though ultimate, and I wouldn't really, is it's got the Hall Effect sensors. There are so many more rules and laws for uh, internet clowns advertising things that don't actually apply when companies themselves advertise things. It's actually insane. I mean, I think what clowns have to go through, including myself, is fine and good, and it should be very clear when something is an advertisement. But then you get like ads auto playing on YouTube that are ads that don't disclose they're an ad, and that's wild to me. Some of the Spanish didn't match the subtitles? I wouldn't be too surprised by that. The Fatalis cutscene? I didn't know you spoke any Spanish, Broco. Now I know. What do Hall and Oat effects do for a controller? They make it sound better. Um, Odo Alpha set? I don't know, man. Protective polish, I feel like, is kind of annoying. I'm not saying it doesn't have its place. I'm just, like, not that into it. Now, if you just want to make it because your boobs look good in it, don't let me stop you. How long did it take for me to finish Tiny Death Star? What are you talking about? Tiny Death Star? Uh, what could that possibly mean? Does that have something to do with Alatrion? Bleed mechanics? Bleed almost never comes up in this game. I don't know, 10 minutes? Watch the VOD and you let me know. Bleed is just really never an issue. It's an issue on Odo. It's funny that you want it because you don't like bleed, and yet if you just don't fight that monster, you don't really ever get bled. Nergigante can bleed you in this game. Well, Ruiner Nergigante can. The skills that I like right away are health boost attack boost this is early game this is like you know before you really get into high rank the end of high rank right so health boost attack up speed sharpen stun resistance divine protection those are also pretty good skills to have What weapon am I going for in Master Rank? I'm not 100% on that yet. I looked at some of them. A Star Wars game I mentioned age ago. Tiny Death Star? I don't remember ever saying I played that game. <laughs> what? I'm being like implanted with false memories. I've got like a CIA agent in my YouTube. You must be confusing me with another creamer, which is fine. I don't mind that you're watching other creamers, but I don't think... I don't think I played that game. I 
I don't think so. <laughs> I didn't even know it was a game. Tiny Death Star. Let me look it up on, on the internet. Oh my god. Like, 10 years ago? I played that game. <laughs> it was coming out in... I think the game was out in 2013. It was all right. It was pretty fun for like a mobile game like 11 years ago. What the fuck? <laughs> that's a guy. That's a guy that's digging really deep into some let's play or podcast or something. I had to look it up. I mean, looking at the screenshots, I remember it. I don't know. It was fun getting the guys that were good to work in the right place, I guess. I do not remember ever mentioning it, but I mean, I don't, I think that's okay. Hey. My wish for in wilds, challenging quests with good rewards. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Was that game free? Did I have to pay money for that game? Or did I just like, did they just give out games back then? Tiny Tower is free? That's kind of wild, huh? Were there like micro, I bet you there was like micro transactions and stuff, right? A Japanese dance for every sub? The Kodama dance for donations? I don't remember having to spend any money on microtransactions and everything got maxed out as far as I remember. At least, you know, as much that would matter, I guess. I mean, there's only so much you can do. That used to be a thing. Is that still a thing? Where it's like... You can just play a game. You don't have to spend any money. I feel like most games nowadays, they want you to spend some money. I guess you could play those MiHoYo games without spending money, but you're going to feel bad because they're going to keep releasing cute girls and cute boys that you want to get, and you can't get them all. Mmm, oh, damn, he's leaving. Nikkei, see, the funny thing about Nikkei is like, it tricks you into thinking it's a real game. That is a idle game, disguised as a real game. Which makes sense why the, the microtransactions are the way they are, because it's just like, you want a new skin? Do you want a new skin on your game? That's it. I mean, it, I mean, it can play itself. Now, mind you, it is better if you actually do play it. You definitely do some some tricks in it. And I thought the gameplay loop was fun. I mean, I enjoyed it. I just like, you know, I felt like there's there's a certain amount of time you can spend doing chores where you feel okay doing chores. There are iframes going up and down behind the cover. Or like doing certain things. How do I explain to your mom why you spent $60 in Nikkei? Just be honest with her. Have any thoughts on the Monster to collab with Raid? They better got paid a lot of money. Can Hammer play like Sunbreak in this game? No.
No, I mean, you can be real with your mom. I mean, if you want. I mean, if she, if you're if you have such a close relationship with your mother that she's questioning what your spending habits are, then it's a close enough relationship that you can be like, I like looking at boobs. <laughs> if your mom is all up in your ass like that. I'm assuming you're spending your own money. It should be none of her business. If you're spending her money, <laughs> then you can be like, well, mom, I know it was your credit card, but I like boobs. Your friend spent 20,000 in Hong Kong dollars for a skin. Is that like two and a half thousand dollars? That's a lot of money. See, I have this thing where every time I spend money on microtransactions, even like $5, for some reason I'm immediately no longer interested in the game. What is that? Does anyone else do that? It doesn't make me want to play the game more. It makes me want to play it less. Shame? Could be shame. I don't think, I don't think, it doesn't feel like shame. Like, I don't feel bad. Like, usually I'm like, I'm doing this to support the developers. I like this game enough. I'll give them a couple dollars. But then for some reason, I'm just done with it. It's not buyer's remorse. Like, I'm never spending enough money that, I, that it matters. It doesn't matter. Problem is I am normal? It's almost like tip, tip your... Uh, I don't know, bartender on the way out or whatever. It's like, I enjoyed the game. I'm never going to play it again. Here's some money for a stupid loot box or whatever. And now I'm gone. Maybe I'm spared pain because you're losing interest in coping. That's a possibility. Well, no, I never, I'm never like buying anything where it's going to be like, wow, I got this really powerful weapon. Oh, it sucks. No, it's, it's always like, I'll give you five bucks or I'll give you 10 bucks or whatever for like a season pass. And then I'm like, all right, I'm good. Gain resentment? Maybe. It never feels like that. I just lose interest. I'm not resentful of the game. I just think it's that way for like a lot of games that have microtransactions like that where... By the time you're invested to spend money is right at the apex of when you're enjoying the game. And then you immediately realize the loop is the same forever. Eso me recuerda. And that, now you gotta now you gotta work for it. I spent money on a job. I think maybe that's what it is. I think I think that's it. I think that's the closest to it. It's like I spent money. And now, now I just gave myself uh, actual, <laughs> I am now employed by this video game. Now I played Diablo four. You can laugh at me now. I did not spend money on anything. But then I had completed the season pass and I realized that I had a free pass for Diablo 4. And I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll just use it. It gave me 700, the equivalent of $7 for my next season pass. But like, it, it's $10. <laughs> So it's like, I guess I'll never be able to get another season pass again unless I spend money. The Diablo 4 campaign was okay. There are certain parts that I think are like really dumb and I don't want to get into spoilers for people, but there was like some mega dumb stuff. Damn, a lot of medium monster bones, huh? Alright. That's probably good enough. What do we want? We want Vitality Mantle. 
I'll, I'll say something nice about Diablo 4. If you want to turn your brain off, like really turn your brain off, and just play a game, I think it's pretty good. If you want to have anything that requires like real investment in planning like a, a character or a build to find anything interesting or anything else like that, that is not your game. But, it, you know, when I was like really sick, like really, really sick, like I couldn't get out of bed sick, Diablo 4 was all right. Does it have complicated MMO stuff? I wouldn't call it complicated MMO stuff. Depends how far you get. I never got to level 100. I had somebody in chat say like, you didn't really beat the game and I laughed at them. <laughs> All right, I guess maybe. Uh, you know, I have Diablo 2 resurrected on my PlayStation 5. It's like installed on there somehow. So like, I, I mean, I guess I could buy it at any time for $10 as well. According to my Battle.net account. I'm gonna get hit. How much damage we take? Oh, Divine Protection already paying off. I've been playing Ghost of Tsushima on my PlayStation 5. I like it. I'll be. Pro I'll probably play it some more tonight. The funny thing is, like, I kind of hate all of the other games Sucker Punch released. Like, I don't think they're good. Like the, uh, ins Insidious? What the hell are they called? Infamous. Thank you. I was thinking of a stupid movie. But I like Ghost of Tsushima. I think it's, I think it's pretty good. So uh, when Sony is desperate for money again and they release it on PC, I can I could say like, it's probably worth playing. Finish it, never thought of it again? I, I enjoy how powerful you get as quickly as you do. I think it's a little silly. Like I'm like, you know, a, maybe two hours into the game, maybe a little bit more and I already have an ability where I just like throw an explosive at someone. I think that's really funny. I don't know why I find it funny, but it's like, oh, here's this big guy. I'll just throw an explosive at him. And like, they're everywhere. Like they're, it's not like a rare consumable. It's like, they just stock, they stock all of their bases with explosives that they never use themselves. I mean, Sekiro is great, of course. It's a From Software game. I have no issues with Sekiro. Although Sekiro is an awful game to stream. I not recommend that one at all. That one sucks. I wouldn't mind wallbanging you again. Would I? Guess I don't need to. I don't need to disrespect you like that, Nergigante. Capcom disrespected you enough already. Oh no. Yeah, the back seating is like real bad. I get you know, if you're like an experienced Sekiro player, like it doesn't matter. But it's like, I think that's maybe the most backseated game I've ever played, other than maybe Final Fantasy XIV. I had a dude, when I was streaming Final Fantasy XIV, backseat me on how to click rocks. And then not only did he backseat me on how to click rocks, he was wrong about it. I was doing levs, or however you pronounce them, which 
you can't like do the auto click. And so he was telling me you should do the auto click, but there is no auto click. God, I wish I banned that person. I don't know if I banned them. God, I wish I banned them. Oh, if I knew that person, if you know who you are, I, ca I can't see how they could be here and not be banned. <laughs> Find the VOD. I don't know if it's saved anywhere. It was you. You better be watching your ass, man. You would not say great sword is a beginner weapons. Sword and shield is? Sword and shield is not a beginner weapon. Sword and shield, it gets very complicated. I'm not saying a bigger beginner can't use it, but I'm gonna get hit. Thank you, Divine Protection. Can I break these arms? Weapon as high as skill ceiling? Probably bow. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think, I think great sword is definitely a beginner friendly weapon. I mean, you can at the very least just do draw slashes forever and you'd probably be okay. Uh -oh. Well, we're on sheep, so we're probably good. You just say bow because you can't aim? You know I'm like weighing all my options right now, right? Got a German here wants to dock the punch. <laughs> Fly to him. Steps for bow? Stamina, Surge, and Constitution are like really, really good. Oh, shoot! That was almost really scary. This is also kind of scary. Gigante, you deserve way better than this. Miss the overhead swing from Rise? I think the moveset's pretty good on Switch X. Clutch them drop down. It extends. <laughs> what? What is he doing? Now that you beat Fatalis, can we redeems active in the next one? It'll depend on the day of. You good, man? What's up? Did I get a ride yet? I think I did. We got Vitality Mantle up. Oh, I think our quick sheath saved us. So 
we don't have it? No, we don't even have it. We didn't need it. Interesting. Last time we kind of farmed up the Wyvern King eye patch. I don't think we're gonna get it this time. I don't think we need it. I'm just gonna replace it eventually in Master Rank. I'm going to laugh everyone else doing the challenge. That is not the plan. Where's the didn't aim guy? Let's do an audit. Así que hay dragones ancianos devorándose unos a otros. Estupendo. Eso aclara las cosas. Sí. No teníamos todas las piezas. Hasta venir al nuevo mundo, ¿cómo íbamos a saberlo? Ja. Nergigante vino aquí para ponerse las botas. I can't eat a whole salad. Ha puesto patas arriba el ecosistema. Local. You step on Pookie's Pookie's poison is kind of hurt. Y ahora que ese niño travieso se ha ido a dormir, los Problem is you're normal? A su conducta normal. But they're not bad. Bien hecho. I'm only going to give you a day. Listo? <laughs> this is his last comment. Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Do I look like a waiter? Como todos, puesto que al principio, a pesar que estamos en nuestro, repito, muchos sabéis, pero por muy peligroso que sea, tenemos que aprovechar esta oportunidad. Sería una locura dejarla escapar. Por fin, vale, tenemos que el líder de. Dude, that was amazing. That, that wait was, was perfect. That was so good. Muy bien, a trabajar. <laughs> Actually, amazing teamwork. With the comedic timing on that one. It was really amazing. All right, well, fortunately for them, it's not even a real timeout. Uh, I'm tired, I'm hungry. I'm sick. Not feeling good today. Today's not a good day. Although we have not died, which is good. Gonna end the stream. I'm not gonna be back tomorrow. I uh, am not streaming on Sunday. Enjoy your Sunday. I'll be back, however, on Monday. So I'll see you on Monday. Everybody, uh, take care. I love you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you very soon. Goodbye.